It's my affiliate. I didn't even know that. Thanks, guys. What the hell? Oh my god, thank you. It's done. I didn't even know it was my affiliate anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary, guys. <laughs> BRB. VTuber. She was the one that told me about this game. Like, that's very interesting. She was like, I think you'd like this game, Hiko. And I search it up, I'm like, <sighs> it's a free game, but there is a $7.50 uh, DLC. Actually, I should talk about this when I. Fuck it, guys. Wait, wait a second. Let me actually open the game. I got too too comfortable talking to you guys in the starting soon screen. Play now. Okay. This song's a vibe, by the way. Every time I listen to it, it reminds me of the nerves I felt when I first debuted this like live 2D model to you guys. Because it's the song I used for the live 2D model. <laughs> Thank you. If you're wondering why I'm talking through the starting screen. <laughs> it's because I forgot to launch the game. I got so like flustered by everybody wishing me happy affiliate anniversary. I was like, oh shit. I didn't even notice. I literally didn't know. It's been two years. And then I started like getting comfy and starting soon. And I realized I forgot to launch the game. <laughs> Start talking to everybody in chat and then I'm like, wait, I forgot to launch the game, bro. I saw Penguti in a different chat earlier in the streamer was also playing this? No fucking way, Chi! How many people have you like <laughs> siphoned this game to? <laughs> Chi was the one that told me about this game. And I was like, but she was she was telling me like this looks like a game I'd love to play. And I was like, you right. <laughs> Let me play it. <laughs> It got to the point where the game itself is free, but the DLC is seven dollars and fifty cents my my currency. So like maybe five or four dollars USD. I bought the DLC just because. <laughs> okay, okay, let's actually come into the stream now. But anyway, hi there is. I saw you in a Ari, Mama stream earlier as well. The rare Ari Mama stream. Okay, hi 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 Apologies guys, I I got too comfy and starting soon. Thank you so much everybody for wishing me happy affiliate anniversary. It's been two years. OMG. I'll say it again even though I said it in starting soon. Because like the music was over my voice anyway. But thank you so much Kimitan, uh, Jinjin, Boogie for wishing me happy affiliate anniversary. Nori, Potato, Jin. Neo, Barry, and Floyd. And Rashiko. Thank you so much, guys. Alright. So this game, as I so readily and excitedly mentioned. Um, Penguchi. Let's shout out, actually. Penguchi. Pengu... Is there an underscore? Let me check. Me wanting to... Uh, already... Pengu it eh, that's me. That's not Pengu. Pengu Chi. Does it have an underscore? Go to Pengu Chi. No underscore. 
Now I know. <laughs> Guys, this is Penguchi. Uh, somebody that I met through... Very interestingly, <laughs> playing Valorant. <laughs> with <laughs> with Samatan and friends. And I uh, the first time I got to play Penguchi is... Very also interestingly, a horror game. What do you call it again? Outlast Trials. Oh my goodness. I always compartmentalize that that memory out of my brain that I've played Outlast Trials because it was extremely scary. But Chi like totally carried. And guys, Chi is a pentomo, just like me too. So I know you guys will like Chi. Chi messaged me recently about this game and said, I think you like this game. Don't know if you heard about it. And I was like, I never heard of it. What is that? And I took a look at the Steam and I'm like it was free so one it's free two the dlc allows you to like customize your mc which i was like excuse me <laughs> you can customize your mc for only seven dollars and fifty cents singapore dollars no way i don't know if i need to download the dlc or the moment you launch the game it already has the dlc but i think do you guys know what, what that like how it works usually it's like auto downloaded right if you buy the dlc I, ho I hope that's the case. But yeah, let's see. It should have it as long as you launch the game after you bought the DLC. Yes, I bought the DLC even before playing the game. <laughs> I did that. Uh, Alright, I'm pretty excited to know what this game is about. I've actually, like, after seeing um the screenshots from the Steam game library, I'm like, actually, I think I've seen some clips with this game in it. So I kind of, I, I can kind of guess what it's about. But then I didn't actually follow any story, so I'm pretty excited. Let's see. Let's get into it. Actually, I'm kind of in a dilemma right now. Should I should I unbox something that came in the mail today first? Or play a little bit of the game first and then unbox something in the mail? With you guys? Like, which means... Wink, unwink, hand cam. Um, unbox first? Right? I'm so excited. <laughs> it's like... It's like, you know those, those gacha, those gacha things where you don't, you don't know what you get, but I bought the thing where you, you can get the one you want, like, guaranteed. So I already know that I'm getting it, but I've always wanted it ever since I saw it. Um, I think it was actually Kishima that shared it. I don't know if he's here in chat. Okay, okay. Let me activate hand cam then. We have this beautiful background music to get us through... Me buying gacha shit off Murkari? Oh man, I just got mine off Shopee. <laughs> you get the one you want. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, okay. Let me open it, let me open it. Bro has hard pity for this gacha. It's not even hard pity, this is just like I select the character from the screen. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I hope the hand cam works correctly. Turn on hand cam. Activate. Oh! Oh, I'm shy. Hi guys. Oh, this is this is my half eat, eaten coleslaw at the side. Just in case you were wondering, I should probably put that away so you guys didn't have to know that. Yeah, purple. Yes, my keyboard. Oh my god, guys, this is your first time looking at this keyboard, right? Like in hand cam mode. I mean, it's a little overexposed thanks to the LED. But let's say if I take it off. It's like... Oh, fuck! My coleslaw! <laughs> um... <laughs> BRB, guys. <laughs> While I clean up the coleslaw. <laughs> oh, my coleslaw. Thank goodness it's almost finished. Oh. Ew! to snack on the coleslaw while I played this dating game, man. God damn it. Pico, Pico, thank you. I miss this BGM. Ew, I need to mop the floor later. Oh my god. Did the Petra clip play? I didn't even see. I just, I have my earpieces off. Thank you for redeeming that, Neo. Ew. 
Okay. It's pretty much cleaned up now. I just need to wipe it more later with actually a mop. Oh my god. Okay, hand cam again, guys. <laughs> Let me, let's dial back. Hi! This is the... Oh. I can't believe- I can't believe of all times for me to drop my co-slots on fucking camera. I swear to god. Hi, goddess! So I asked the chat if I should play the game first or if I should unbox this. Which is something that came in the mail today and I'm very excited about which is like... You, got, you know what? You guys will know when you see it. So I'll, I'll just unbox it right now. Just me or webcam struggling? Oh yeah, it's a little glitchy, isn't it? I don't know how to fix it. Let's just pretend it's a filter, okay? So you know those like um those like little gacha things where you can it's like a, a little box, like a it's like a blind box. And then you don't know you don't know what you're gonna get. But I know what I'm gonna get because <laughs> I, I bought it off of the person that tells you you can get a guarantee. Also, Nori, you're gonna love this. Look at the name. It says hello Nori! So this is the Hello Nori, um, let me read, series. Eh. Ah! I'm so excited. <laughs> Did you get the purple one? No, the purple one is like the, the extremely expensive, um, special one. Throw box away. Oh, okay. Wrong way. So it's... I think, yeah, it's already been open to know that it's definitely this one. I got the black one. Eesh. This bitch empty, yeet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Barry, not to tell you this, but I was lurking in your last stream. I didn't know you drew. You draw so well. Otsukade. Is this a guitar one? No, the guitar one is a little like too expensive, so I got the other one. I'm so excited, I've never unboxed something like that before. <gasps> it's me! Oh! I thought I dropped something. Pop Mart. Oh. Oh. Wait, do people unbox it like that? Or do they just leave it in the packaging? Like that. I don't know. It's standing man emoji. I know, right? Okay. Um. Let me grab another tissue in case there's any <laughs> remnants of coleslaw in my hand. <laughs> and then I'll touch it. How? It's literally me, guys. Look, like, literally, let me put it near my, my VTuber model. What the fuck? We're the same. <laughs> She's just like me for real, for real. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I purposefully got the one where it's a guaranteed box um, receive of the one that you want. Because, like, the others, I mean, they are similar. But it's not the colors that I would like on her. But apparently... If you got the other ones too, you could change her outfit. Like, like it's interchangeable. So it's like you have different outfits. For, oh my god, the same girl. Oh! There's even a car- <gasps> Wait, this card is beautiful. Oh! This is my first Pop Mart purchase. My second one is on the way thanks to R R Reshiko's birthday gift to me. <laughs> um, it's it's Kuromi related. Hi, Crystal. Anyway, thank you for watching this very short unboxing with me. I'm very happy. I heard Kuromi in my name. Yeah, I'm saying this is my first Pop Mart purchase. And the second one is coming thanks to you, Reshiko. You know, like, um, there was this one time Reshiko just randomly saw, like, a Sanrio pop-up store and then he DM'd me, like, um, there's a Sanrio pop-up store if you're interested. I'm like, oh, 
How do you know? I like Kuromi. <laughs> he said you're thrown wishless, bitch. <laughs> I mean, he didn't say that, but like... <laughs> he insinuated that. He's like, you're thrown wishless is everything, Kuromi. <laughs> And I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> it's so um, it's so obvious what I like. God damn. Anyway, what's a throw box? <laughs> Hi Megan! Um I didn't mean to turn on hand cam for the whole of today's stream. Also, messy bed, my bad blanket. Okay. <laughs> uh but I wanted to unbox this on camera. This which is pretty much me, IRL. I see the keychain. Oh, yeah, yeah. The keychain. <gasps> Since I have hand cam on anyway, I should show you guys like... All the merch. Wait, wait. Let me like turn off hand cam and then... Stand up and get all the merch that is like on my other side of my bed. And show you guys how much there is. Oh, heavy! Oh. Okay, I have everything here. I don't I don't have a plan with this because I, I didn't even plan to have that cam on. Okay guys. This is a box. What how do I even show? Okay, first of all, the gigantic one. This is not for sale. Only I get to have it because it's gigantic, but it's mine. I go. Okay, I go. Inside of this is 100 of the keychains. Y'all see it? Happy. If Thank you, BS. This is. Is that the Manju controller? It is. It is. This is 100 of those keychains you guys just saw over here. Yeah. Hi, G Shock. This is what it looks like in the packaging. Like acrylic charm. W keyboard, yes. It is extremely expensive. It's like a taro bow. Absolutely. Okay, the other one. I go. That's <laughs> heavy. Oh. Okay. The other one. It's the one that I've teased for a long time. Don't mind the, uh, the sweets. <laughs> it's a little messy because I've packaged some of them to test if the packaging works. Oh, there's a bunch of these little guys. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's very puntable. It's very puntable. Why did I throw that there? But okay. This is what it looks like in the packaging that I've prototyped. Packaging prototype. And then if you buy two, you get a bigger one with that you can display two in. I tried packaging it with other stuff like the little frilly fi fillers and like special sticker. Wait. A smaller one. So those are the tests that I have so far. Everything's going pretty smoothly. I still have to sort out like um I still have to sort out like career like delivery packaging stuff. Not packaging, delivery stuff with um with my local career. And then also the website, which I've been a little bit not doing. I apologize guys. The website is on a standstill, but I hope you guys are excited to have these in your hands one day. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my, oh my god. Okay. End of hand cam for the day. Bye bye. And then we play the actual game. Alright. Let's see. So once again, this game, A Date With Death. It's a free game on Steam. I didn't hear anything about it until Penguti told me about it. And said, she said, I think you'll like this game. And I'm like... I think you're right. So now I'm playing it. All right, let's go, shall we? I don't know what to expect, TBH. 
Do you guys know what to expect? I don't. Except for some of you who came in a little late, this is the thumbnail I made. So that's probably our main guy. And is his name Death? I don't know. Let's start. Ikimasu. Is the volume okay for you guys? Is it a little soft? It feels a little soft. Mate, 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 mate. <laughs> uh, settings. I think I'll put a little louder. Okay. <laughs> Did I just skip the cutscene? One sec. Title. <laughs> Let's restart. Hi, Soa! What? That was too far, fast to read. Is this our main guy? <gasps> He's hot. Oh. He has white hair. He has a PC set up. <laughs> You've always been a perfectly ordinary person. Okay. An ordinary person with an ordinary job and an ordinary apartment. That's me, that's me. Are we, are we talking about me or are we talking about the guy? Is That is putting aside some, uh, some of the strange occurrences that happen around you. That is very Hiko's lore. Who hasn't been involved in a train crash, a house fire, a hurricane, and a parachute-related skydiving issue in all in one a span of a few months after all? Okay, here is where it's not similar to my lore. <laughs> But interesting, okay. You've always been this way. You found yourself in many unlucky situations, but come out unscathed every time. Oh. Interesting. If she has like, you know, packs with demons, then it's like me. Friends and family always call you lucky, but at this point, a little. A piano falls from a six story building above you, you simply step to the side. Wow. You trip on your shoelace and fall down a flight of stairs, not even a scratch. It's one of these unusually ordinary days when you arrive home and look into the mirror. Typical Hiko. Uh, I am this clumsy, but I always get hurt, so it's different. Oh, this is the DLC, guys. I get to make my MC. Yes. This is what Obey Me needed. Okay, guys, we're going to spend two hours on this DLC screen. Oh, what should I wear? Something Hiko core, I guess. I mean, this is the purple list, but it's like not it's too white. This feels more Hiko, actually. <laughs> I don't know. 07, see you in two hours. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't know what to choose. She's a little lighter skin, maybe like that. You can create your own MC. Yeah, so pretty much um, the game is free, but this character creation part is where is the DLC? Like you need to you need to purchase for you know optimization, not optimization, customization. Okay, let's do hair first, I guess. Purple. That's very purple. Which one is more me? Maybe this. I don't know. I mean, I'm talking about like the cut, the shade of. Hmm. The customization's pretty good. Like that's quite a lot. This or this. This or th actually, I think the darker purple is me, right? Uh, back of hair. I love the music. Is that me? That kind of looks like me. There's no other like... Oh, there is like another... Okay, this is me, this is me. But I can't decide between the lighter purple or the darker purple. I think darker. Yeah. Clothes. 
I mean, this is not too shabby. It's still pretty properly, even though it's pink. Kind of. Oh, shit. Which one is her? This feels like, like similar because a lot of black, but it's a little edgy. And too much cleavage for Eagle. <laughs> okay. Brows. I like that. Oh no, she's cute. <laughs> I am trying to make her... Eco. Wait, there's no purple eyes? You're kidding! I mean, okay, pink looks the most similar. Should I give her the green eye? The one that Nori likes? <laughs> I should, shouldn't I? One green eye. Just cause you can. Uh, this is okay, I think. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> thank you for bringing the green eye and the braids out, both of you. I like this one the most. Okay, nose. I'll keep to the usual. Freckles. I don't have any though. But I might just not have any. Well, you can just have a lot on. Okay. Oh dear, how do I like cancel? <laughs> wow, you can have so many. Okay. That's what I'm talking about! Oh! Oh! Oh, kawaii! Kawaii! Eh! Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, it's like I'm doing a little pick crew. I'm like, pick crewing. Kawaii! Whoa. That's most like her, right? Oh my god, these glasses? Why are they so specific, these glasses? I wish they were purple though. So I'm gonna stick to the usual. This is your default now. <laughs> True. I mean, this is similar, but I think it's not... It's like... A little sharp on the sides. Kiko's one aren't sharp. So maybe I should just give her like a cozy hat, like... Oh my god, the cat. I mean, the made outfit version. Hmm. Hmm. I might keep to this, but I feel like the hair might need to be a little different to fit it. I don't know. Imagine these braids. Those are a little too long to be mine. Oh wait, that's so cute. Hmm. Yo, I love the black hair actually. Well, keep the purple. Or the brown. Or the red. Or the green. Oh, they're all good. Imagine. But it doesn't feel like Hiko, does it? Unless it's purple. I'll keep to this hair, I guess. Uh... <laughs> this feels a little out of place. Wow. It's giving fashion dreamer, guys. can't pick one that I like the most. Oh, shit. I mean, I guess this is fine too. Because it's like black and purple, right? Sorry, guys. This is like important to me. <laughs> you didn't know what I'm choosing. 
Okay, let's take a longer look at hair. I should probably go back to the one I did before this one. And as for this, while the, the bows are cute, they don't look like they fit this hairstyle. Right? This hat's so cute. Oh my god, that's also cute. I'm feeling like I'm playing pick. Oh my god, I feel like I'm playing pick crew. You know, what? I'll keep to this. This feels most like her energy, right? Uh, yeah. She, her, feminine leaning, female. Yeah. Yeah, this is it, right? Yo, what are these? Oh, shit! There's a whole cutting. Oh, I went. Oh my god. Omg. Why is she suddenly smiling? I'm so confused. Where's the smile? You know what? I like her. I like her. I don't know. Then the hair color. Oh. Hmm. It's too light to be called Hiko's hair, though. Oh. You know why I have an issue with this color, this purple color? It doesn't look blue enough. It's too reddish purple. My 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 purple's like a little bluish. So like I was thinking, even this looks closer, but... I don't know. Let's keep to this. Finally. Yeah. Oh! First name! Favorite animal! So much is happening! Hiko. Eh? Pico. Fav yeah, cat, sure. Okay. Finalize? Let's stick to it, let's stick to it. Oh my god, wait, I'm adorable. Biography? What, we're making a Friendster account? Oh my god, I'm making a Friendster account. Um... Where is that date with death I hear about? Okay. Next. <gasps> is this the, the pet that they talk about? The fluffy cat? It could have been like a bunny if I chose bunny. I can decorate my room! Shut up! Is this part of the DLC? Yo, they made so much customization for it. And see how I would do it. Oh my god, this is giving life is strange. Like the like the uh what's that called? Polaroid camera uh stuff. This room is giving is giving max. Oh my god, it even has M. It's giving Max from Life is Strange. Any Life is Strange players that know what I'm talking about? Yeah, let's do Polaroid set. I don't know about M though. Yeah, yeah, let's keep to this. But I feel it looks more full with the M, so I'll keep it, I'll keep it. Okay. Eh? What did I just receive? First chance at death, create your first MC. <gasps> your pet? Name your pet? Oh shit! I know life is strange, but don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. So, you know how life is strange, the main character Max is a photographer? Max. Life is strange. Polaroid. She takes a lot of photos, right? So, this is uh, her wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This exactly, I was thinking of this exact part. 
Oh shit, no spoilers. Open image in new tab. This! Lori! I was thinking about this wall. It feels very Max Caulfield. Um, how do you say? Just her vibe. Yeah. Also, talking about Life is Strange, I'm quite, I'm quite leaning towards maybe playing the the next rendition of Life is Strange, which is Life is Strange Two on stream next, maybe. I do, I do have the game installed already, so I'm quite excited because Life is Strange is literally one of the first like long form story games I've or actually the long first long form story game I played and completed on stream so it, it's gonna feel like super down memory lane to come back to it anyway what should I name my pet hmm. would anybody in chat like to <laughs> like to uh, nominate yourselves to be the name of this pet I thought okay Nori is your gen <laughs> Would you like the cat gender to be male or female? Either works. Okay, let's flip a coin. Heads for male, tails for a female. Heads or tails. Tails. Okay, we're keeping it female. Welcome into my room, Nori. <laughs> Alright. Your bed. I'm not picky as long as I become a cat. Understandable. Your comfortable bed. It's seen you through many a night's sleep. You're not that tired yet, though. You can't help but recall the day you bought this bed. It was your first piece of furniture you bought for yourself. Wait, this is actually a like, true to lore or like true to me. When I first moved into this house a year ago, my current home, IRL, the first thing I bought was my bed. But it was one of the last things to arrive because it like delivery issues. Not only was it too big to fit up the narrow stairwell, you got it wedged halfway up. You thought you were going to have sleep to sleep there from now on. But eventually it came free and then you stepped on a loose floorboard and nearly plummeted down a few flights of stairs. Whoops. It's certainly an experience you never forget at least. A ding comes from your laptop. You take a look at what you expect to be an email. Instead, you find yourself face to face with a strange app you've never seen before. <laughs> you look at it for a moment before hitting the X on the corner of the program. I, I guess I'll just ignore it for now or I'll deal with it later. I'll deal with it later. But, you know, you shouldn't... You should... Uh, IRL guys, you shouldn't touch strange apps you don't know. Just saying. Renovate an appearance. Oh, this is where you can update stuff. Okay. Your plant. Water your plant. Wait, that's... That's also very Life is Strange. Life is Strange has had a thing that where if you kept watering the plant, it gives a different outcome by the end of the game. Or is there free money? If an advertisement pops up and says free money, click to accept and get the free money. Will you click it, Nori? I sure hope the answer is no. He gave you Sprout a hearty drink. You swear you almost hear it saying thank you. A second ding echoes through the room. Worried, you look back at your laptop screen. The app is once again open and flashing on your hotbar. Hotbar? High risk, high reward. <laughs> you wonder for a moment if you'd somehow picked up some malware. Delete the app or ignore it. If I delete the app, does the entire game just end? Because that's actually what I would do. Like me, Ariel, Hiko, if I keep seeing some sort of pop-up, I'ma delete it. I'll be like, shit, it's malware. Delete. I'm going with my heart on this, because I'm MC now, right? I delete the app. Bed. My cat, Nori. Renovate an appearance. Door. The door leads out to the hallway beyond. Your apartment is on the fifth floor of a downtown apartment building. 
There's nowhere you want to go at the moment, but you overhear some talking on the other side in the hall beyond. You don't know your neighbors very well yet. Perhaps now is a good time to learn more about them? Eavesdrop just a little bit. You put your ear to the door, straining through the wood to hear the words being spoken beyond. You hear the sound of someone knocking, then a door opening. Sorry to disturb you. I just moved in down the hall and I had a package meant for you delivered to my apartment. A deep, rich voice floats through the door. Oh my gosh, I thought the package got lost. I really can't thank you enough, the other voice responds, light and somewhat airy. Well, it gave me a chance to introduce myself to you, so I call it good luck on my part. Here, all yours. Thanks again. Um, the voice trills off. Oh, my apologies. My name is... The voice is muffled for a moment as the elevator dings and you miss the next few words. Your humble servant. The second voice laughs. I feel like I owe you something for having to bring that heavy box all the way over here. I would hardly call one flight of stairs all the way over, but I wouldn't turn down a coffee? The deeper voice replies. Wait. Guys, they're getting like... They're, they're going on a date already? The neighbors? Oh, how about tomorrow? It's a date. I mean, not really, but... See you tomorrow. Oh, in front of my salad? What the fuck? See you. You hear the door close and the sound of footsteps walking away from the door, and then silence. So fast. I know. From one package delivery? Before you hear the sound of pottery open... But wait, pottery... F Falling and shattering into the ground. The door opens again. The deep voice speaks first. I uh, didn't see your plant there. Coffee's on me? You hear the second voice giggle then speak. It's alright, I've been meaning to get a new pot for ages. Let me at least help cleaning it up. It's really no trouble. I insist. I was the clumsy one. Alright, let me get the broom. The voices become muffled then silent. This seems to be all the information you'll get for the day. The dings are coming much more frequently now. Someone or something wants your attention. I'm writing that down. The coffee part? <laughs> or like stealing people's- Oh my god, stealing people's like uh, delivery boxes just to deliver it to them so it feels like they owe you a favor? That's what you're writing down, Nori? Oh my goodness. OMG. OMG. You're not worried now. You're angry. The dinging is starting to annoy you. For a moment, you contemplate throwing your laptop out of the window. But calm before you possibly commit a crime by dropping a laptop from the fifth story of the building and knocking someone else out. Delete the app. That's what I would do. But if I already deleted it once and it's still there, it's a little... It'll be a little concerning, to be honest. No, dropping packages to a wrong address and hope they send it back. What? <laughs> so they come to you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Bookshelf. Nothing. Change music. But I, I like the song though. I'll just keep the music. Eh. Pick a new book to read. Sure. <clears throat> the Wanderer. The world was empty, life was gone, the soul whisper wandered now and forever. <laughs> Do I have more books to to choose from? That's, this is the only book I read? Okay, I'll read the whole thing then. Such was their fate, fate of one bound for life and death without possessing each other. They walked through a crumbling city, looking in on the remains of a civilization lost to time. Had it been a hundred years or a thousand? Seconds merged into hours, hours into days, months into years, and for once, they wondered when their wandering would come to an end. Your soul was bound to the very world, fated to walk it until the very land itself ceased to exist. Something caught their eye. A soul unlike any other, as black as night, with a thousand silvery stars glittering and flowing like a river within its dark fold. The soul whisperer approached it, and it turned, and in turn it sang them a song, the voiceless song filled with wonder and awe. For a moment, the soul whisperer was lost in the rhythm of the universe, caught up in the symphony of the cosmos. But soon enough, the song came to an end, and the soul whisperer finally felt something they didn't know was possible. Fear. Fear of the loneliness that came with guiding the world's final soul to their resting place. It only took a moment for the soul to disappear, leaving behind a sea of glittering stars in the wanderer's wake. The world was empty. Life was gone. 
but the soul whisperer remained, an eternal wanderer, forever seeking the lost souls of the world that were already long gone. Oh. Do I get to read anything else? Read a book again. It's the same book. Okay. I guess we touch our laptop now. One second though. I feel like eating a kopiko. My kopiko. That's it, you think. You're gonna commit a very bad act to this laptop of yours. You're halfway opened your window when you come to your senses and close the app once more. You quickly delete it from your desktop and empty your trash can. But two moments later, it reappears exactly where it was before and opens again. You think about the sketchy sights you've been on, but even that is hard to concentrate on the past. On past the co on past the constant dinging. You attempt to delete it again, but it won't delete anymore. Try again. Nothing happens. Try again, but angrier. Nothing continues to happen. Great, I guess I've got a virus. Stare the app down or click on the app. Personally, me... I do nothing, like, I, I will try not to touch it until somebody that knows better tells me what to do. So, so me, personally, I would stare the app down. Nope, you think. Not today. You keep staring at it. They're gonna make me click on it anyway. The dinging begins to drive you insane. You know, you could just turn the volume down or something, I don't know. You attempt to shut the computer down, but even that isn't working. No choice but to click on the app. It seems to be a strange chat room. Ooh, a date with death. What does he do? Soul eight one two nine. Foolish mortal, you shall evade me no more. I have had enough of you fiddling around your room and ignoring me. I've come to reap your soul, says Green Reaper. This is far more important. Hand it over willingly, for I am he not here to play games. Answer me at once. People who type like that, like with caps on every word? Little sauce. Hello? I wish- I see you wish to ignore my demands. Foolish. Incredibly foolish. Please respond. Oh, this is like Slay the Princess. Uh, chat, chat's covering it for a little bit, so I'm gonna turn off chat for a bit. The, the ad was Slay the Princess. Oh, but it's gone now. Anyway. Grim Reaper testing, testing. Model gamer do not interact. Cat Lounge VT, follow me on YouTube. Go away, don't message me. And Bluebird, spread your wings. Awaiting status. Let me also say do not interact. Anyway, does this not work after all? Well, this is quite embarrassing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, testing. Fuck me. Is that an offer? What is this app? Uh, hello, T2, or delete the app. Delete the app. It reinstalls? Now that is just plain rude. The utter disrespect. Mortals these days. Delete the app again. We have a virus! Wait, do not delete it anymore. You will cause serious damage. And I will also be very sad. Delete the app. Please, stop deleting my app. Your auto tolo is 641.30. To <laughs> so finalize your order, please hit 1. We're trolling, we're so trolling! To cancel order, please hit two. What? I ordered no such thing! This Grim Reaper is a little not smart, it seems like. 
Thank you for purchase. Your order is now being finalized. No, I have not clicked that response, you stupid machine. To order again, please select yes. Why is there only one option? No, no, I do not want to order again. To order again, please select yes. Oh, we're, we're a troll. No, thank you. I refuse. To order again, please select yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you for your order. Your account has been charged a total of 3,491 and 60 cents. Oh my god, the ad? Wait a second, guys. The ad says single assassins in your area. Hey, yo. What if I click on it? Let's try. Nothing happens. Oh, fuck! <laughs> it actually opened a website on Steam, but it says ever encounter while processing a request, you must log in to see this content. Is it an actual game? Wait, 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 let me log in and see. Me clicking on ads even in game. I'm the I'm the type that actually gets my viruses into my computer. Wait, wait, wait let me log in into Steam. Oh, Manberry, thank you for the follow. I love how he needs an app to communicate with you. I know, right? What's the issue? No ad blocker SMH? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Which email is my Steam again? It might be my old email. Tim, please do not uninstall my app. I know. Like, why is the Grim Reaper... Why can't the Grim Reaper just come look for us? I want to know the single assassin in your area. Like, what is it about? I'm a little curious. Oh man, I love the music inside of uh, this game. Oh my god, it's in junk mail? Wait, no, it's not. Oh, Steam support, finally, finally. Found it. Sorry guys, it's taken a while. Steam. Oh my goodness, it's about the Divine Speaker. The game contains content you've asked not to see, which is frequent nudity or sexual content. The single assassins in your area is an actual, like, R21 game? Oh. The Divine Speaker features consensual sex scenes between male adults. Oh my god, it's Yaoi. <laughs> I'll view the page off screen. <laughs> Ooh. A story rich tale of breaking the bonds of fate and meeting some cute guys along the way. Oh, what about do? Bookmarking that? Okay, Nori. Well, these ads are like so good. I want to see like which which ones of them, which one leads to what game. Oh my goodness, it's a horror game. This this next one. The, this current one is a horror game. Oh, it's not it's not released yet. One way, a first person horror game, but it hasn't been released. I, I guess it's all the games by them. Actually, no, it's not two and a half. Huh. Okay, what about this? Oh my goodness, Heart Agency. It's like, not even the same developer too. They're just like advertising for other games that they like, I guess? Omoshiroi! Okay. Holy fuck, no, please no. Idiot. Mortal! How dare you fool me in such a manner? How unbecoming of one such as me. It's not my fault you're so easily fooled. He wants a how? Titi an an! <laughs> Seriously, is this a virus or something? A virus? No, do not be absurd. This is an application that I have created. Dong. 
于什么拜五了？<笑>这是什么？等一下，我来我来找他的字。Chinese to English， 学学一下。礼哦礼，礼拜五，是哦是哦。七七这个礼拜辛苦了，好好休息。哇 ，Aria V Live， thank you so much for the for the raid。我们跟你 ，Dan Suika， Suika， I love Suika game， but Aria is a goddess from the moon。Welcome from the moon， you guys。Thank you so much for the raid。I really appreciate。My name is Hiko。I realize I always forget to introduce myself. I should at least do that to you guys. Common etiquette. I'm Hiko or Hiko Pico. I am Vtuba. I'm also animator. Well, that's about it. Hi, Dan. Welcome, welcome. Your model is so cute. Omg, cat. Thank you so much, Aria. Thank you so much for the raid as well. Let me see. What? One sec. What were you playing on the moon earlier? Also game. Oh my god! Click the circles. Ba ba da ba. Hope you had fun. Also games. The cat is staring into my soul. Oh yeah, yeah. One sec, one sec. I'll let it stare even more into your soul. Oh, wait. We covered. I mean, I covered it. Like. <clears throat> I'm on a date with death. Maybe. Or are you the death? Because the Grim Reaper created this application to get to us. Click the circles. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, this this cat, it's the homies in chat. <laughs> I hope you had a good stream, Aria. I'm currently playing this game called A Date with Death. It's a free game, but you can download the DLC to be able to customize your MC. So I did that. I was like, fuck it. I love customizing my main character, so I bought the DLC to customize her. And we're just at the start. We literally just started, kind of. Thank you so much for the head pat, Aria. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm back here. It's literally me in game. Yes, I named Nori、uh, my cat because I was like, which one of you in chat want to be my cat on the bed that I'm naming right now? And Nori, Nori, so kindly offered. Chat too cute, but streamer is cuter. Aria, please, you're so nice. Wait, let me let me do a little stalking. <laughs> let me let me not even hide that I'm stalking. Let me not even hide that I'm following. Anyway, I hope you're good to stream, Aria. Oh my god, you also have very cute, like wobbly ears on your starting soon screen. I love. Anyway, rest well. Or. Come see what a date with death looks like. Apparently, all right. Let's see. What did the Green Reaper create this app to reach us for? Messaging you? Why? I don't even know who you are. Wait, are you a bot? I would think that. I would personally think that. Like Chat GPT. A what? You know, a bot. Beep beep. I hope you have a great date with Death. Maybe we'll give you some cookies. Have a great stream. <laughs> thank you so much. Rest well. Thank, thank you. I appreciate it for the raid and everything too. Happy affiliate anniversary! Yeah, popcorn. Remember you were there for my first affiliate stream? I was doing like a test Among Us. And then you became one of the first ever people to sub to me. Oh, thank you so much, Aria. Yeah, I didn't even know. I was literally at like the live soon screen, like the starting soon screen, and I didn't know. Everybody's saying like happy affiliate anniversary. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> it is. That's crazy. It's been two years. Wow. Alright. Sounds like something a bot would say. I'm not a robot. Robots say, huh? Hi, Lake River Dragon. Welcome back to a stream of mine. Nice to see you. Gotcha. 
I've not come here to play your games, mortal. Why are you here then? The Grim Reaper sounds like he's like 5,000 years old. I've come. I told you, I come to reap your soul. Wait, what do you come here for? We're so trolling. We're so trolling. To to reap your soul. I feel like I'm talking to my granddad. Sorry, one more time. You're cutting out. <laughs> Boomer Reaper, exactly. I said to rip your soul. Man, really bad reception here. Can't make out what you're saying at all. It's getting like obey me, Lucifer, right, Neil? Do not belittle me. I'm coming for what is owed to me. That is all. It would do you well to not get in my way. I don't owe you anything? You do. You just do not know it. It's my job to know it for you. There is no need to be afraid. It is a natural process. And the job is... I had fun playing this game? Really? I'm now trying it. I even bought the DLC to make my MC more like me. Thank you for finally asking. Beg me to tell you. Oh, fuck this guy. Let's turn off the application, please. I don't care that much. Really? Yes, really, Green Reaper, please let me go. Now I feel bad, you can tell me. I am the Grim Reaper and I've come to claim your soul. Okay. Right, right, or right. Okay, I'll, I'll give him the time of the day. Right. Very normal. Not gonna lie, not the weirdest scam someone's tried on me. I think I would type like that. What does he capitalize every word? Exactly, it's giving like granddad, right? Hi, Sarahs. There was this one time when I got a message from a time-traveling astronaut. Said I had to wire the money to preserve the space-time continuum. Oh, uh, did you send them the money? That sounds important. So the Grim Reaper is also very easily fooled. Somehow I'm not surprised you would fall for that. It's getting psycho. I know! What, it was a lie? Well, I hope it was. I feel attacked. But you don't type like that, Rashiko, right? Now you're making me worry. Time is not something to mess with. You're kind of baby girl coded! Oh, the return of baby girl! No, not the return of baby girl. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm glad the baby girl of chat isn't here right now. But I'm 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 putting that in. I'm putting that in. I was gonna learn, but this is gold. <laughs> what does that mean? Says Green Ripper. Reaper, stop trying to distract me from the matter at hand. Your soul. Will you, you will hand it over? Huh. What is a baby girl? Hmm. I feel like that's something you should find out yourself, Nori. Oh my god, he's adorable. <laughs> the Grim Reaper. <laughs> I have to ask, is this roleplay? <laughs> Are you okay? Is this one of those scams? Of course, it's all yours. Why does this one have a star? What does that mean? Does it mean I should I should press it? But I don't feel like I'd read that. I, I I'll ask if it's roleplay. Maybe the star progresses main story. Really? No no no. I wanna ask if it's roleplay. That's more me, I think. <laughs> what will he say? What is a roleplay? I really feel like I'm talking to a granddad. Like you're pretending to be the Grim Reaper. And I want me... And you want me to be... Your enemies to lover's sweetheart. Your pizza delivery woman. Your mortal enemy. Enemies to lover's sweetheart. 
<laughs> Me too, Reshiko. <laughs> what? No, I am the Green Reaper. There is no, this is no game of make-believe. This is a matter of utmost seriousness. I'm at this point like laughing at my laptop if this is real, or, like what's happening to me. That's a shame. <laughs> I used to be one hell of a role player back in the day. <laughs> I'm sure you were. I don't usually respond to spam messages like this. Now I'm thinking I should? Anyway, do you seriously think you're the Grim Reaper? Excuse me? It's kinda cringe. Oh my god, wait, I'm the Grim Reaper and it has a star on it. I'ma do it, I'ma do it, I'ma do it. I'm the Grim Reaper now. Um, no you aren't. <laughs> Are you trying to steal my job? That's super not cool. You are not a Grim Reaper. I am the Grim Reaper. Hell, this is going on for so long. You are not. I know each and every Grim Reaper in this plane and beyond. You are not one of them. Oh my god, you're capitalizing every word. Yeah, we, <laughs> we're following. No, you are not. Okay, if you, tru you are truly a Grim Reaper, then tell me the first rule of taking a soul. The first rule of Grim Reaper Club, don't talk about Grim Reaper Club. Make sure they don't leave the oven on. If they win in rock, paper, scissors, they get a free pass. Oh, I'm thinking one or three. This whole conversation is frying my brain. I'm gonna just do number one. Don't talk about Grim Reaper Club. This whole conversation is a rude. No, no, no. You have absolutely no clue. He sounds like he's like 85, but also like five years old. The first rule is ensure a peaceful passage. No unnecessary suffering or fear should accompany the transition. That's boring. Cause a little pain. Why don't you? Boomer versus Jun capital Z. Oh, I'm Jun Z. Oh my god. You're a funny little Grim Reaper, lol. He sounds baby girl coded, for real. <laughs> you, you mock my title now? It's less mocking, more light teasing. Wait, 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 quick question. Do you walk around being like, I am death in real life too? What? <laughs> I am the Green Reaper. Death and darkness. He's a chuni. <laughs> a chuni baby girl. <laughs> you do, don't you? Stunned silence? I'm clicking the ad, by the way. Ooh, the ad leads to a Twitter account. A visual novel. In the making, it looks like. Is your hair as dark as night? Do you hide behind long bags? You give off dresses and all black vibes. I like the first one more. I think I can imagine you completely. Why would the Grim Reaper need an app to come claim our heart, our lives? That's the. That's the only thing I, I we would have to ask, right? It's a funny thought, hee <laughs> hee. If only we could meet to confirm my suspicions. Oh, we're, we're let's bring it to the next level. Come meet me, Grim Reaper. You, you, I will not be mocked by a mere mortal. Give me your soul. Your soul is mine for harvesting. <laughs> Bet he's molding. <laughs> he totally is. It will be a three course meal. You, you. You do type like that though. 
How so? Dude is having a whole conversation with us even though he's annoyed with us. It's all kind of edgy. Every single thing you say. I am not edgy. I am death. <laughs> I know he's not here to defend himself again, but <laughs> this is like a certain somebody we know don't <laughs> at all. We. A certain somebody with the letter H for his first letter of his name. <laughs> when we first met him <laughs> in chat, <laughs> this is the energy too. <laughs> I am hatered. <laughs> okay. You're just proving my point. No, see? This is how you pick up. This is not how you pick up people, you know? I am picking up nobody. He <laughs> put my phone to crash. <laughs> exactly. The only thing I wish to pick up is your soul. Oh. I don't know, I'm kind of attached to it. Sorry, I'm gonna have to pass. Passing is not an option. What are you gonna do about it? Oh! It seems you aren't understanding exactly what's at stake here. You haven't told us, Grim Reaper. How will we know? Answer this at once. Oh! Uh, uh, shit, I'm not ready, bro. We already in the voice call stage. <laughs> we already... The X it don't work. The X don't work. What if we wait? Because that's what I would do. I would not answer. Sleep calling. <laughs> ah! Leave it for five minutes. Go make a coffee. I wonder how long it lasts for. Because personally, IRL, if this is happening, I would not answer. Get more coleslaw. I'm so sad about my coleslaw, man. My floor, like this certain part of the floor is like a little oily tent now too that I need to mop later on. I'm gonna check my phone messages real quick. I'm all waiting for this. Roleplay as Grim Reaper in Instant VC. I'm thinking of ordering coleslaw? Really? He's one of those nice guys who never take no for an answer? Oh man. I guess there, there's no... There's no other way but to answer the phone. Do we get to actually hear his voice? I'm gonna put both your pieces in. If he has a hot voice, maybe the cringe doesn't matter, you know? Okay. Ah! It's him! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he doesn't speak, I'm gone. The Tuni Bio is strong with this one. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? What's that? What's going on? Hang up disabled smiley face. How does he know how to do this? Is he a coder? Hello, my little reaper. Ugh. I wonder why some of them have stars. Like, like, does it mean it's what you should, you should collect or should do? Wait, let me let me think. Let me channel me. What would I do if like a hot dude <laughs> just could start <laughs> going off on video call and calling him himself fucking the Green Reaper? I would not speak. I think I would literally not speak. Mind you, hot dude is Chuni. <laughs> so he's Dopio drop size. Oh my god, drop size like literally this size. You need to level up your inner troll. I'd be too scared to speak. What are they recording me, you know? So I'd be like...
He's typing even though there's video call? He doesn't speak on the video? I seem to have taken your breath away. You could just pretend the screen is frozen. <laughs> that much can be expected, I suppose. I have often been called irresistible by your kind. Ew. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's hard to like somebody who's this overconfident. <laughs> Before their souls are taken, of course. You are definitely not what I was expecting. Oh, she talks? How quaint. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> and what did you expect? Shadows? Darkness? Evilness? That sort of thing, I suppose. Shadows and darkness, do you take me for a creature out of a fairy tale? Well, no, cuz... How do I say this? Yes. You... Huh? Oh, the message. Okay. Are you just... A, you're just a normal dude. How many times do I have to tell you... That you're the Grim Reaper? I don't believe you. He's so like offended that you don't believe him. Why are you acting surprised? Of course I'm not gonna believe you. I'm simply surprised that you could be so naive. I am the Grim Reaper, in charge of ferrying souls to their rightful afterlife. You're still saying it, really? I really can't tell if you're being serious or not. He's like a puppy dog. I think that's the energy they're trying to give off. Like... He's all edgy, but like the gap mo is that he's like really innocent or something. I don't know. I'm not really interested in being whisked up into the afterlife or whatever you're offering. Nor am I interested in entertaining your strange fantasy. You are truly insufferable. I am here for the sole purpose of harvesting your soul. Your opinion on the matter hardly matters to me. Think about what you want. Wait, what you want about me and my role? It changes nothing. Hypothetically speaking, aren't people meant to be, you know, dead? For the Reaper to come after them. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Huh? But he's actually a Bakadere? Um. Makes total sense. Don't look at me like that. How is he like typing and speaking at the same time? I'm like, I don't know what to reply. It's not like I chose this fate for you, he says. And on the side, he says, you're actually making me feel guilty. And I say, good. I'm just here to do the dirty work, unfortunately. Don't shoot the messenger and all that. <laughs> I'm giving you this look because you're full of shit. <laughs> That's the first choice. These are my bedroom eyes. <laughs> MC, please. Okay, I'm going full of shit. Give it up already, or at this point, I'm just really curious what you actually want. I've been completely honest with you about what I want. You just refuse to listen. Perhaps listening is a skill you could work on in the afterlife. Look, other than being death or whatever, do you have other personality traits? <laughs> Let me guess, your social life consists of counting the sand grains in an hourglass, right? Mm. They're both really mean. Personality traits. You should work on that. It would be unnecessary. The only thing necessary for me is claiming the souls of the damned. It seems you do have some common sense buried in the head of yours. I'm absorbing so many keywords right now. <laughs> Heart has a little feelings. It seems you're severely lacking it. I'm like some. We're trash talking, guys. I feel kind of bad for you. Dear Lord, why did I get forced to deal with this one? I heard that. You were supposed to. I didn't whisper it, did I? Oh my god, he had like a little flower thing come out. Whatever. More like I'm stuck with you anyway. You and your weird ass typing. 
Why do you type like that anyway? What is weird ass about my typing? But it's not on purpose? Explain yourself. The capital letters. Yes, I know what capital letters are. I'm not brainless like yourself. Hey, yo. I was using them, was I not? Yeah, that's the thing. You use them too often, way too often. What are you talking about, mortal? You were using them on every single word. You were not really supposed to do that. I do not type correctly. He's blushing. Help. Not correctly at all. Allow me to go perish. Thank you, he says on the message. I say, huh? I do not type correctly. Call ended. Oh. What? What did you hang up for? He's embarrassed? Oh my god. Hello? Little Reaper? Is he not gonna collect our live anymore? We're free to go? Question mark? <clears throat> Where's... My little baby girl? Oh. Little Reaper. There's a... There's a limit. Evaded death for real. <laughs> Just because of the typing? She embarrassed death to death. Why'd you leave the call? Oh my god, we're enjoying the voice call, guys. There's no particular reason. <gasps> He's typing in no caps now. He's being one of us, guys. Zero caps. Not even the first letter. <laughs> the first letter doesn't have a capital anymore. <laughs> None whatsoever. He's learning. Um, I'm not trying to make fun of you or anything, but... It's still not right, lol. I mean, this is fine. Why are we being so picky? This is at least much better. Adapt and conquer. He's so baby girl. Don't want to chat with me anymore, little reaper. Ah! I have no clue why you're typing like that. What is he doing? Like, isn't he supposed to just claim our soul? Well, why is he like... Like, trying to establish, like, some sort of thing. As if we're gonna be texting for a long time. <gasps> He's probably throwing a tantrum. He is, what the fuck? I have no clue why you're typing like this. Obviously incorrect. Who would type with so many le capital letters? Absurd. You should be embarrassed. <laughs> oh! Oh shit, guys. I'm just, like, tuck my, tuck my hair behind my ear. Oh! Hey. You know, it doesn't really feel like death with this background music in the <laughs> while talking to death himself. There he is, my little reaper! Ah! Let's do it. I am not little. No part of me is. Oh, good to know. Oh my god. Are we flirting right now? Are we flirting with death? Oh my goodness. You should make him feel better about himself. He looks so sad. <laughs> okay, calm. I thought the way you typed was cute, by the way. <laughs> Shut up. The way I type is unimportant to the matter at hand. Just hand over the soul so we, are we can be done with this. I thought we were moving past the whole soul thing. No, mortal. There is no moving on until the deed is done. Too bad it's my soul. And like I said, I don't believe you. I mean, it's been fun messing with you, but... The Grim Reaper isn't real. It's a myth. Do I look like a myth to you? You look like a very pretty stranger. Mm. But the Grim Reaper isn't real. And I'm telling you, I'm quite literally... Yeah, okay, okay, I get it. 
I feel like we're going in circles at this rate, so... How about a bet? A bet? Consider my interest peaked, he says in messages. Someone likes bets, huh? I reply. A bet? Or maybe more like a deal. You have my attention. Continue. Yes, I do, yes, he says, uh, for the bet. For liking bet. So what if, if what you claim is true, then you should have no problem taking a soul, right? Correct, I've taken many souls. I'll allow you a free pass to my soul. Oh, intriguing. If you can take it. I'll let you and I'll only put up a small fight. Just a little one, promise. And take it, I shall. We'll see about that. I'll give you a week. That should be no problem for the Grim Reaper, no? A week? You shouldn't underestimate me. I only need a day. An hour. Oh? If you only need a day, why did you bother with all this? Are you perhaps struggling? Fine. A week it shall be. I am honor bound by my very soul to accept the outcome of such a deal. And I am, uh... Not honor bound, but you can trust me. That remains to be seen. But... If you can't... What do you ask for? Hmm... <laughs> yeah, so like... From the starting of the story, it sounds like... Uh, she has been in a lot of close calls with death. Like, a piano falling, but she doesn't get killed by the piano. She just steps aside and the piano falls. She has been in a lot of almost accidents, but comes out unscathed. People have been calling her lucky. So I guess the Green Reaper has been trying, but there's some sort of difficulty. Your soul. I don't want to marry him. He's too chuny for me. <laughs> just a soul. I suppose that makes it fair. I hadn't expected that anyone would come after my own soul, I must admit. Scared? Ha. <laughs> Mortal, I am scared of nothing. Except for typing incorrectly. <laughs> I agree to your deal. If I cannot take your soul in the next week, then my soul shall belong to you. Out of interest, what do you plan to do with it? I show his soul, I think. You will regret this deal, mortal, he says in messages. And I'll say, we'll see about that smiley face. Sounds like you know I'm gonna win. I like that one. I never lose. There's a first time for everything, I suppose. I guess I'll be your first. This is gonna be fun. So the human has a sadistic streak. Or say sadistic? Which one is it? Wouldn't a reaper also be sadistic? Sadistic? Kinda hypocritical, no? You really know how to get under my skin. Happy to hear it. Ugh. My poor little reaper, it must be awful. Ah! Just stop talking, please. Your voice is beginning to grate me. Stop talking? I'd like to draw your attention to the fact that you called me. You messaged me. Seems pointless if you don't want me to talk to you. You're the bane of my existence. I must be real important to you, huh? You are nothing special whatsoever! Grimmy boy! Hi, Bananos Gaming! Yes, this be Grimmy boy. My little reaper. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We will not. So you admit there is a we. Stop twisting my words to suit yourself, mortal. But it's so fun! How did it come to this? Anyway, as fun as this is, I rewatched the entire game. Mm. It's getting kind of late. We can't waste our time messaging random people on the internet. This would have been taken much less time if you had done as you were told. Done as I was told? Yes. I don't usually follow orders from strangers. Well, perhaps you should. Maybe you should follow my orders, little river. Ah! 
You were going with it. I actually quite like the nickname Little Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no arguments? Perhaps you'd like that after all. Preposterous. Again with the lack of disagreement. Oh my god, it's more than one exclamation mark, guys. Hands up in the air, guys. Like, that's three exclamation marks. Wow. Wow. <laughs> MC is so girl boss. Yeah, I love MC. She's so snarky. I am definitely not agreeing. Aw, uh, this poor little reaper. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, my little reaper. What makes you think I want a, someone to boss me around? You kind of give lost puppy vibes. You seem like the submissive type. There's something attractive about telling a handsome man what to do. Lost puppy vibes. Lost puppy vibes? How so? It's a little pout you get sometimes. It makes me both want to bully you and look after you. That's true. You know what? Mortal, you are dismissed. Get off to bed immediately. Says says in messages. Aw, but this is so fun. I reply. Dismissed? Do you not understand the word? You can go, please. What if I say no? Then we could sit here all night chatting. I'm sure you would enjoy that. Is he... Is he... Is he flirt... Okay, I've changed my mind. Tell Grimmie if he's eaten yet? Damn, he got rejected? Good, it's time for you to rest. Oh, you're acting like you care. You'll need your rest, else our competition won't be as fun. The tongue? Okay. You can just say sleep well, you know. Hi, hi. Does death make a good date? For now? I'm not 100% sure. But at least he's hot. The night, little reaper. Ah! See? Oh! Okay. <laughs> Good night, everybody. It's the end of the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna go off to bed. <laughs> I'm going back. That's actually what I would. Oh my god. Oh. Hey, wait a second. How did you know my name? How indeed. I never told you. Wow, I wonder how exactly I could have known then. It's not like I have a big list sitting in front of me with your name circled at the bottom. Aw, you circled it? <sighs> Good night. Night. I'm hoping she doesn't get that stuff in the net. What? Hacker SMS reported already. <laughs> Sleep well, Grimmy. Oh! Wait, can I change my username? Why? This one's kind of lame. Thank you for the stretch, Mew. I told you his name is Grimmy. Yeah. Lame? It is not lame. It represents how many souls I claimed before yours. Thank you for the pass check. And the hydrate. One sec. Okay, I've hydrated. It's a badge of honor. But can I change it or not? Fine. What about my picture? You're a needy little thing, aren't you? Oh. These basic messaging app features. <laughs> Skip the first one. <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> oh. Then of yes, of course you can. Obviously, this program lags in absolutely no ways. Wow, he's very proud of his messaging program. <gasps> oh! 
Kawaii. Which one should I choose? Oh. I like them all. It's really hard. Oh, shit. I don't know. Oh. Oh, this feels very e dator though, right? Cute anime girl profile picture. Oh man, I don't know. The one below the ghost? Sharo? Who's Sharo? The vaporwave speaks to me? Hmm, I don't know. Actually, I kind of like the bird. I like the bird, I like the animal ones. Like the bird or the... Actually, even the pumpkin I like. I'm thinking either pumpkin or bird. Or... This little sheep. Or just the actual soul. Oh, the music artist in the BGM. Oh, Disney. Okay, I'll keep to the pumpkin because it's the derpiest. Username. My little reapers. No. Little reapers soul. No, there's character limit. God, did have good rest of good good rest of wait have a rest of good. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jen. <laughs> Reaper, mommy. No. Okay, uh, uh, most cute soul. Shit. Okay, how about cute, cutest soul? 666. No! Okay. Imagine if you could change his username to Mommy's Little Reaper. <laughs> mm. I think this is enough. Cutest soul. Thanks, Grimmy. Night, night. Oh, bye bye, Aria. Thank you so much for staying as long as you did. Rest very well. Thank you so much for the raid earlier again. You can click on your little picture to change it whenever now. Wow, so customizable. How nice of the Grim Reaper. Yes, I worked that quickly. You may be impressed. Enjoy. He's giving a little bit of a... Scarecrow from Busta Fellows. Like, very good with tech, but very bad with social, like, cues. And somehow it's very powerful anyway. Like, like the Grim Reaper. But for Scarecrow, he's like boss of the underworld. The first day, complete day one. New items added to gallery. Okay. Cool. After a restless night's sleep, you wake up and head off to work. The day passes uneventfully, but you can't get your mind off the strange things that happened last night. The, that man certainly wasn't the Grim Reaper, but you can't deny that something felt special about him either. You're thinking about him as you begin to walk back to your apartment. It's dark out. You finish work later than usual today. Lives rent free in your head. I mean, he is my little reaper. <laughs> you believe that's why you didn't see the banana peel someone had left on the sidewalk. You slip over and just in time to see a heavy metal beam fall from a construction site directly overhead. It falls toward you at a rapid pace. Roll to the side. The metal beam clangs to the ground beside you. You blink a few times in surprise, then stand. Just an all normal day, huh? You walk for a little while longer, then finally arrive back at your apartment. Oh, it's beautiful at night. Oh, Nori! Which one should I do? Check on Nori or give Nori a treat? Are you feeling hungry, Nori? I'm, I'm 
about to feed you, Nori. Okay, I give you a treat. I give you a treat. Yes, yes, yes. You pull out a bag of Nori's favorite treats. That's enough to wake them up. You feed Nori a couple of them, and she gobbles them down, thankfully. Have a good meal. Let's water the plant. Your little sprout has grown some leaves. You can't help but feel proud as you give it a big drink of water. Bed. Bookshelf. Is this something new? The raven and the koi. Ooh. Let me skim through it. Wow. Literature. You live another day, mortal. <laughs> Let's check our computer where the little Grimmy is here. Wallpapers. Oh. Oh. Yuri. I quite like the original one, TBH. But let me take a look at these. This girl's one. Oh, it's not just two girls. There, there are four people. Okay, let me go back to this one. Gallery. Oh, some behind the scenes stuff. Kawaii. Collected images. Music. Nice. Internet. Past. This card signifies a new project or endeavor. Your history was like a playful kitten tangled in a yarn ball of exciting new projects. This card symbolizes intelligence and resourcefulness. Your wit and resourcefulness shine bright. Resembling a cat plotting its next mischief. Your move could outwit even death. This card represents the resilience and the ability to bounce back from setbacks. Resilience will be your hallmark in the future. The Grim Reaper makes up that you're just too tough to be taken. Oh. All seems like we're, we're good enough to defeat the Grim Reaper. Oh shit. Oh my god, not the butt call. There we go. That's me. Extremely long me. You draw so well. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is long cat. Okay. I'm gonna be cryptic, but he he he. I love the pose I did for you. What the share? Sora, please. How can you do that? And not share with me. Actually, previous was better. Sure, and I'm done. Okay, okay. Uh, what else do I want to add? Oh, oh, oh! This is a hot topic of uh, of the the online sphere these days, right, guys? Help. 
It doesn't look like an E. Okay. That's right, chat. Did you know? Did you know that I'd also do that for you? Okay. I gotta show that. I gotta put the little peeled. That's right. <laughs> I'm so boomer. Okay. I think this is how it started. A TikTok got kind of popular or kind of viral over this person like that's asking... It, it could even be a skit or real, but like they were recording themselves asking uh, if their boyfriend would peel an orange for her, I think. And then the boyfriend was all like, um, I'm trying to be a good boyfriend and have my, my girlfriend be an independent woman. <laughs> so peel it yourself, that kind of thing. Like, like he went so overboard to say he doesn't want to peel the orange for her. So, so it became like a, a internet debate. Like, would you peel an orange for somebody? And then people say it's like, you know, the romantic gesture these days <laughs> to peel an orange for somebody. So I would peel an orange for all of you guys. That's the idea. The bar is so low, I know, right? Okay. If I if I close it, does it just disappear? Never mind. I'll come back and like take a screenshot if I ever need to. Let me let me go back and see. Oh, <gasps> it really does disappear. Oh, oh, it comes back. It comes back. Nice. We'll keep it that way. Games. What the? There's so many games. Oh my goodness! How is this game free? I would peel your prawns for you, homies. Oh, Dren! I would also peel your prawns for you, Dren. I eat my prawns with the shell crunchy. Absolutely. If it's like deep fried, I would do it too. Like ebby, ebby fry. But like, otherwise, I usually have them taken off. Oh my god, it gets faster, guys. Yes! Okay, what other games do we have? Runner.exe. Oh my god, that's him, right? That's Des. That's Mr. Grimmy. Eh? I thought we could collect that, that's why. Okay, so we dodge it all. This is basically like the... The Google Chrome, um... Internet down game, right? The little dinosaur one? Oh fuck. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can beat the game. Just a little bit more. Until I'm happy with my score. Hi, Ikosa! Is that to celebrate my stream affiliate anniversary? Thank you so much! I'm trash. Hi, Iko san How are you? Okay. So the speed increases in tens, like in terms of how many tens I've dodged. Ten, ten, ten across the board. now mm -hmm. 
me enjoying the mini game more than the actual game. I'm so tapped in now, right, right now, guys. I'm tapped in. Oh! I wonder if the game ever ends. Like, is there a defeat? Well, I mean, is there is there like a level to defeat, or does it keep going until I die? Speed 11 now. Have you guys ever seen this like video of somebody like who created a, a, a like an auto tap machine? So they they put like a sensor for where whenever there is like a obstacle that appears. So I guess like it it senses by color difference. So once once there's an obstacle that comes out in the in the Google Chrome dinosaur game, it auto it auto taps the space bar. So in that sense, the the created computer bot thing can always defeat that game in a sense. I don't know if I can ever find it ever again, but I once saw that video, it's pretty interesting that people create that. Yours, am I right? Let's see if we can get like 100. I don't know if I'm shooting for the stars here. Automation is fun, yeah. Oh, it's really fast now. more to 100 we'll see if that clears the game or does it keep going Imagine never ends. It might not ever end. Let's just keep going till I die then. Let's see. Let's see how far I can go. Knowing me, I'm gonna like just end on one that I should never have ended on. Like, <clears throat> I should have cleared it. Maybe speed 20 is the most? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Never mind. We'll never know now. <laughs> I wonder who's, who's just like the highest score. Alright, GG. What last game do we have? Wordlit.exe You have five turns to guess the five letter word. Oh, it's a Wordle! It's a Wordle. Oh, shit. Okay. We start with... um Today. None of them are correct. Uh, what are the word over there? Every... No, but there's so many of the same... Like, why? I don't want to test why anymore. Um, check, maybe. But check also has two Cs. I want to, like, optimize. Mm. Mm. What about bread? Yeah, maybe bread. Oh, R and E. Hello, is that tampon? Annyeonghaseyo. 
uh, ER, ER. ER, maybe? Yo, Boon. Nama Bakashi Pozo. Uh, that, mm. I don't know. Oh, exclamation mark country. I would said Reaper, but no A. Oh, yeah. How about regret? Wait, that's like six letters. Never mind. Um, R E E R. Why is my brain so slow today? I can't think of any words. Water. Let's just try water. But like A though. Not A. Poker? But no O. Uh. Similar time zones. Let's go. Refer. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Let's try it, let's try it. Oh! The E, the R and E are correct. Re... The R is wrong. Maybe T? E, T. E... Oh. Ah, dude! Thank you so much for the follow. Hi, dude. How are you, dude? Not to be me, dude. But like... The project, the little project we're doing, too. I heard your contribution. And I'm like... say too much but i love jim's voice a lot <laughs> okay risen oh maybe maybe we don't have any i oh, let's just do it let's just do it my cat nori said it so we have to do it oh right rise rise it's not r it's not d rise ro r r rise <laughs> What else is... What else can end with... Let me see my keyboard. I said what I said. I said what I said, Ju. Uh, rises. Riser. I don't think it's riser. Because the R over here is yellow. Which means it's not correct. So it might be rises. It might be R-I-S-E-S. -E You're right. Is Rizez a word? Drain? Is Rizez really a word? Okay, Riser... Riser could be one. What else could it be? If it's a word I never hear before... I never heard before, it's gonna be like... I'm, I'm gonna be so mad at this game. Right? Let's just type Rise first. Rise... It's not risen. Rise. I think it can only be riser, right? Rise. Rises. I mean, not riser. Rises. Rises. The others don't seem right. I think this is it. Like what Tan Pong Si said. Got me flustered. Not me. Not me. That's me. Like nobody else knows this in chat, but um, I've done another project before with Jew in the past, where I had to take like Jew's voice notes and like make them into like you know it's the obey me interview thing, Jew, <laughs> and and like. Don't let anyone else know, but your voice was like my favorite one among the, all the interviews. <laughs> like, for, I already knew from them, like, I really liked your voice. Just saying. I'm just get it out the way, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's just go Rises. Oh! 
Let's fucking go. Picking favorites? I'm not even gonna deny it. It was, I mean, it was, it was like Ju and Neru. And like, thankfully, this current project, Ju and Neru are in it again. <laughs> so like, yes, I get to hear my favorite voices again. Oh, it's Kari. Let's play one more. Let's play one more before we actually chat with the death himself. Okay. I think we try bread again because that's a good one to like get some um of the it's a good one to get some of the what's that called a e i o u's i forgot vowels out of the way right oh this is a whole uh, home run guys d is correct r e a is in it i u <laughs> yes we get the i u out of the way <laughs> Uh, ready? Mm. I don't think so because the D is correct already. Right? So D is correct. We just need to change up the A, E, and R. Heard! Maybe heard. Right? Fuck. It's not heard. <laughs> uh, so at least one of these letters must be the first letter, I think. Uh, my brain is empty. <laughs> um, ra, ar, ar, I'm becoming a pirate. <laughs> ar, <laughs> someone D. It's not A and R here, it might be E here. Let's say E is here, maybe. Uh... Jared. <laughs> Imagine. What's another word that's not Jared? <laughs> I'm just guessing because like it's not R and E here, so A maybe. So I'm just changing it around. Dared. Okay. We try. We try. Okay. 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 It's this is we have to guess it by now. R rated. What else could it be? Rated. R I hope it's not that word that I just thought of. Um, ra ra raged, maybe. This is so hard. Do you guys think we should make another word just to guess? Like another completely different word, just to guess which one that last letter should be. Because we know it's R-A something... It's R-A something E-D, right? So, it could be anything. It could be rage, it could be rated. It could be rod. <laughs> it could be. It could be a lot of things. I remember playing the Genshin version. There, there was a Genshin version. R <laughs> Nori, shut up. <laughs> ah, yes, rod. <laughs> Guys. Okay. Okay. Let me get. Let me. Let me try to like three thousand IQ this. Okay. Since I think it might be rated, or it might be rage, or it might be any other words, we have to try to find a, a five letter word that has all of those letters and see which one is correct. T, G, maybe great? What about W? Water. No. T, W, G, twig. <laughs> uh, Raised. Yeah, it could be that too. Shit. I don't have I don't have enough to guess. Wait, it's not raised. It's wait, it could be. Is raised a word? I don't mm. I feel like rated is the most Satan? No no no. We know it's R already. We know it's definitely R. Because we tried all three positions of the R. So there's only R can only be the first one. So we know it's R A something E D. 
I'm just trying to like uh, 3000 IQ it now and like try to guess a lot of other letters in a five letter word to see which one will be the correct one. Um, so if T is my... If T is my... Guess... Wait... What? Raked? Fuck, that too! How do I even try with all these letters? Naked? No, R is definitely at the front, potato. I'm just trying to see which one is gonna be the middle word. It's R A something E D. Rave too. Oh shit, there's so many. I gotta think of a five-letter word with a lot of these. V G T. Oh shit, I don't know. I'm gonna try Vogue as my letter, as my word. Then we can get V and G out of the way. What do you guys think? Let's try Vogue. Oh shit, it's not raved or raged. I'm just gonna go raid it then, right? Oh my god, it was raided after all! Yes! Okay, last one, last one. Actual last, actual last. I'm having so much fun. Okay, uh, let's go bread again. Okay. Uh, erase. What the fuck? I'm actually a genius. <laughs> anyway, this is not the actual game, guys. Let's quit the word game. Let's quit the word game. And the only thing I have left. Oh my god, Jew, you want to see like a drawing I did on paint earlier, Jew? Guys, Jew is Jew is like an actual artist. So, <laughs> Jew, you heard about the peeled orange <laughs> meme? <laughs> Like, would you- would you peel an orange? <laughs> That's why I spent like 30 minutes earlier before you came in the chat. <laughs> anyway, okay, okay. Now let's play the actual game, which is... Drew, there's a hot guy over here that we're dealing with. We're, we're beginning the chat room with the Grim Reaper, who is... Kinda hot. Okay. Where are you, my little Grim? Oh! I played this one? Ah! Okay, so you already know. No need for explanation. Found something more entertaining than talking to me? Probably impossible, TBH. Oh my god, we're so smug. MC is so smug. Hey, I had a crazy thought. Imagine if we ran away and go Hello? Hello? <laughs> ah! Where Where is this coming from? When did I start thinking about this? We could have to... Eh? When did I think about this? Even that isn't enough to get your attention? Replaying is pain. I just watch other endings on YouTube. Okay, understandable. Understandable. Just a thought. How many endings are there? <laughs> like, I wonder... I wonder which I'll get. I still have my soul, by the way. So much for I only need a day, an hour. You do love to see yourself talk, don't you, mortal? Oh my god, he started using cow emoji and he changed his profile picture? Oh my god, he's in love with us! <laughs> he go about the 100%, this don't worry. But there's five endings. No, no, I think I just need to reach one ending. Or if it's not the true end, then maybe I try for the true end. He changed his profile picture when the only person he talks to is us. He wants us to see this hot profile picture. I also picked the pumpkin picture. Let's go! We're so similar, Jew. I saw you talking to yourself yesterday before I responded, you know. I was simply testing if it worked. I was not talking to myself. You were the one sitting here waiting for me. And also, what are you talking about? Marriage? He also adds a lot of like ex- uh, Like the- What's that called? The, ex uh, the question marks now? That's crazy. I'm trying to have you killed and you're talking about getting married. Is your brain okay? <laughs> Help. If not, it would explain many things. I only said it to get your attention. I'm not about marrying him yet. I need to get him know him a little better. Okay, that makes more sense, I suppose. Lonely, are we?
Oh shit! I don't want to. I don't know if I want to be like the Rizzler type MC or be actually like really me. What would I say? I'm I'm stuck between wild kind of actually or am I not allowed to feel lonely while waiting for you? But the the fourth one is like super like flirty already, and I don't know if we're there yet. Be yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Happy Feet. <laughs> I will be. Okay, my my myself would be. Well, kind of actually. What will he say? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to admit it. Uh, he's feeling bad. I see. Well, worry not, mortal. Women are. <gasps> oh, often tell me I'm delightful company. Of course they do. I definitely believe that. Now that you've seen my good looks, you will find it impossible to stay away. <laughs> Not the puke emoji. Maybe if we're lucky, I'll let you look again. The cow emoji! <laughs> I'm going crazy. He went from like a, a cringe, like, Chunibyo type role player to like. actual baby girl. <laughs> He's such a loser, I love him. <laughs> I know. I think I heard he goes hard stop for a second. It's it's not hard it's more like cringe. <laughs> I'm cringing really hard. <laughs> it is true he is good looking. He types in small caps too. He changed it up after we called him up for typing in all caps. Like uh Oh, the, the the previous chat doesn't like previously he types like every letter every start of the word is all capital so like capital N now capital T that and then we called him out for it and then he got embarrassed and then he changed to like all small caps now acting cool okay he is good looking oh oh god oh. Excuse me, I was playing Wordle. I I mean, but I wouldn't mind the video call though. I was waiting for you for ages. I was kinda waiting for you. I was just bored. We have to tell him we're waiting, right? So that he he video calls, right? It's, it'll be what he wants to hear. Hmm. But we don't want to be too up. So I was kind of waiting. Video call! Video call! I have expected someone to jump out at me all day. To, you know, steal my soul or whatever. True, true. Because he said he'd steal our soul in like an hour or a day. No sign of any reapers. Scared, are you? Always looking over your shoulder? Looking for me. Oh god. <laughs> Lord, help me. <laughs> Help me finish this game. Oh. Oh. I had a physical reaction to that. <laughs> oh. The the cow emoji. Where did where did he learn the cow emoji? I'm waiting to see if you make a fool of yourself colon D is very it's very Hiko core. You'll be one proven to be a fool. You'll be the one proven to be a fool, mortal. I suppose we'll be fools together then. Oh my god. She's really honing it in with the flirt. She really is. I'm so proud of her. No, it will only be you. Just two silly fools. Smiley face. Grim Reaper doesn't reply. I can't wait, you know. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Four? Can't wait for the day you have to admit you're a liar. Oh, cause we still don't believe he's Grim Reaper, right? That you're too just a poor mortal. You would do best to remember that your fate lies in my hands. Your life can come to an end at any moment. Yeah, so why am I still here? Oh, the direct message has changed by the way. Like Slug Tia is new. The others are the same, I think. Baby Deer is also new, I think. Why am I still here? Well... Did it say you have my soul in an hour? I've simply decided not to rush. Okay. What have you been doing today then? Seeing other poor mortal souls? Here I thought I was special. 
Interested in my, interested in my day to day life, are we? Actually, yes. I mean, like, what would the Green Reaper be doing every day, right? By the way, is that you and your PFP? Not PFP. <laughs> she so types like a like a current, a current, like youngster. Is that a selfie? So what if it is? He knows what PFP is. He's learned so much in one day. The way you say grim, me, grim. Creamy. Thank you for redeeming creamy, Nori. Did you see this clip before? For the first, like, for the first time, I feel like it's been a while since the full clip managed to play. So you managed to get the gacha. You managed to get the full clip to play. That's almost cute, or you're so embarrassing. Asa an. Okay, you're so embarrassing. I bet you took it just from me. I'm gonna look for now. I need to get ready for gym. Oh my god, you! All the best with gym. Have a good day. I think it's day. I don't know what time zone you live in. But have a good day. Wait, I need to do lottery. Otsu, <laughs> Sizong. And see you, Ju. It was so nice to get to chat with you on stream. Ju 两年了 Okay, let's continue You're pretty much obsessed with me, aren't you? Shut up <laughs> He so took it for us He so took the new profile picture for us You're stupid and talk too much Forget my picture Let's go back to talking about my day It was busy as per usual Are you And you mortal? Oh my god, he's asking us about our day <gasps> What takes your time during the days? The bills don't pay themselves. So cute. Right? He's actually curious. Or maybe he just wants info so he can kill us. Because he wants to take our soul. You're so baby. I know. Elaborate. Kaomoji. Uh, help. Help. Buddings of a new relationship. I know. Young love. <laughs> who's interested in whose day to day life now? I work as a mortician. Ooh. I work at school teaching. I'm an animal attendant. I do freelance. I make computer games. I'm an author, actually. I work in fashion. I'm an artist. Oh, shit. Let me double check what mortician is. The person who jobs to prepare dead people to be buried and arrange for managed funerals. That's like the most interesting one, right? And it reminds me of Buster Fellow's Mozu. I mean, he's not a mortician, but like, close enough. Animal attendant, yes, you attend to me. It's true, I do attend to my cat, Nori. But you're at home. Those are my top two choices, actually. Animal attendant or mortician. But I feel like mortician? It's very close to Grim Reaper, right? We're preparing the dead people for the Grim Reaper. It's like the closest to his job. And it's like kind of the most interesting one to talk about so far. The H in Hiko stands for Hu <laughs> Okay, mortician, mortician. Shit, really? Man, he says shit, really? Yes. That's kind of hilarious with the cow. I swear, who taught him that? Who taught him that? I'm so glad you find my profession hilarious. 
I sure as hell do. What are the chances a Green Reaper and a Mortician? Sounds like the start of a joke. That's so cute. Oh, Gladys, are you falling for the Grim? Are you falling for our little Reaper? Little Grimmy? Two people who deal with death. Very interesting indeed. Maybe we were fated to meet. Ooh. Perhaps so. Wait, he's believing it. Wait, he's so innocent. He believes anything we say. Fated to meet, then fated to be enemies to lovers. <laughs> so? Oh, King Onyx, thank you so much. It is my affiliate anniversary. Thank you, thank you. I'm guessing you just tell me your job was being the Reaper if I asked. At least you finally recognize it. That is my job, yes. My job, my hobby, and my reason for li reason for living. This is our one you see, ma. I don't want to say it's sad because it's his reason for living and his hobby and his job. Sure, I guess. How do you do it then? Stick your hand into the chest and pull it right out. Stick your teeth into the neck, to vampire style. You sure have a wild imagination. But that's definitely not how it's done. Bro needs to touch grass at this point. <laughs> Though I must admit, I would make a dashing vampire. He really he really thinks his looks are like a charm point of his. Like part of his personality is his looks. White haired vampires are in right now. I'd be happy to offer up my neck for you. Then how do you do it? How do I do it? Space, hi! Yeah, so it's been two years since I became affiliate on Twitch. This is the second year anniversary, so this time two years ago, a little Hiko, two years younger, managed to become affiliate and uh, had a bunch of people who subscribed for the first time two years ago. Such as, if I remember correctly, it was Dane, Dante, D, my three mods uh, that started becoming mods with me when I was affiliate. And then popcorn. I don't remember if anybody else did on the same day, but these four I remember were the first people to subscribe. <clears throat> Woohoo! Mm. The OGs. Mm -hmm. Day ones, legitimately. It's a very beautiful experience. Oh! Speaking of popcorn, I don't know if he's still here, guys, but. Remember when Popcorn was like stressing out about like wanting to make a uh, fan art for my anniversary? Then he says like he doesn't have the time. Then he goes ahead and shows me that he actually drew something! Ah! He wanted to draw me in all my different outfits. So my old outfit, my my 3D outfit, my uh, cozy outfit, my new outfit. Wait, well, this is my new outfit. And this is my cozy outfit. And then this is Dante! Because the, uh, the popcorn is also a fan of Dante. And, 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 and! He also colored it! I didn't know popcorn was such a... Such a... Pogging artist. Guys, this is popcorn poop butt for you guys. That's many versions of me! Oh! And Dante! And I'm holding Dante! Thank you, popcorn. I, I'm seriously like... He asked, it's a bit rushed though. And asked, do you like it? And I'm like, what do you mean? How can I not like it? You're drawing me three times in one canvas. And then Dante, my wife is in it. I'm like, please. We're asking the obvious question of do I like it? Oh my God. Anyway, it's a very beautiful experience. Uh, like taking someone's soul. You will undergo it soon enough. I will pull your very essence from your body. There will be cold and heat and love and hate. It will be glorious. Wow. That is very Chuni Bio of him. How about lust? Ah! Let's ask it. Let's ask it. Lust? Well, I suppose there would also be lust if that's your desire. Lust is a natural thing, just like death. In a way. <laughs> Not the kya. Back to the matter at hand. Do you have a daily quota you have to feel? So wise. What if you don't get enough in one day? Pick any random human and it'll do? What? 
No, it's predetermined, obviously. I have no hand in the matter. It's, I'm simply assigned jobs and I complete them. Usually. Anyway, but here we are. Aw, so you didn't pick me out? Here I thought I was special. It's a job. I take it seriously. I'm not going to go around taking souls at random. If he doesn't hit a quota, he will get yeeted out of the spaceship. <laughs> Help! Like Among Us? I understand why, but... If I was the Grim Reaper... Mm, if I was the Grim Reaper... A lethal company... Right, right, the quota. Me not knowing lethal company jokes. I'm stuck between, like, evil or... Like, calm. I'd let everyone live extra long lives. Or I'll take all the souls. I don't want to be his boss. When will Hiko become a great greater asset? What's a greater asset? I'll take all the souls. This is why you would never be a good Green Reaper. A Green Reaper seems to imply there are multiple. And you're speaking to the very best of them. That's a typo. Great, great asset? Is that the... Even then, I don't <laughs> get it. Obviously, I do not work alone. I cannot be everywhere at once. Do you not know how many people die a day? 150,000 plus. I'm talented, but I'm not that talented. Hmm, but surely the very best. Would have had my soul by now. You're a difficult one. You wouldn't understand my struggles. Oh, I'm a good listener. Lay them on me. That's Hikokor. You are them. <laughs> I am the struggle. <laughs> Whoa, all caps. That's how dire the situation is. And yet, you're sitting there, perfectly content to keep living. Despite that not working for me. My bad, I didn't realize it would inconvenience you. Honestly, I do feel gu guilty, sorry. I really am so very sorry, Mr. Green Reaper. A little guilty. So goofy. <laughs> So you hand it over? Nope. A thousand curses upon you. Only a thousand? Weak. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Nothing about me is weak. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. Oh shit! What about your love for me or what about your want for me? Both winky face. I think want. He doesn't love us yet. But he definitely wants our soul. You're saying that's not weak? Mortal, you walk a fine line. A very fine line. It's okay to admit you were wrong, you know. I am never wrong! Many exclamation marks. So baby girl coded. Then your want for me must be... That's enough of that. I'm already sick and tired of entertaining you. <laughs> the cow emoji! Got nobody else to talk to, huh? Oh no, we are that lonely. To be honest, I like talking to you. You know what, let's do that. Honesty is great. I do like talking to him, he's so funny. In the, in the cringe way, but like also entertaining way. Send me more cow emojis, Mr. Grim Reaper. <laughs> You're surprisingly fun. Oh? Falling for me already? Fuck, we are we gave too much already. He's already overconfident. Backpedal, backpedal. I can understand that. I will fall for myself too. Ugh. I think you fell for yourself a long time ago, Grim, for real. Riz. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Him, Riz? Us, Riz. We, Riz. Maybe. Whenever I look in the mirror, my heart sings. Oh, Lord. What are we dealing with? Anyway, answer this immediately. Oh, shit. Ah! He's 
got like this anti riz. Kao, I all this time I thought it was Kao. Yeah, Kao, like face in Japanese. Face emoji. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my god. Excuse me. Hello! This is my. Wait, wait, wait. Before you get into the weird green reaper thing. Oh my god, an axolotl plushie in his room. I have a really important question. This would be hilarious, I'm sure. What the hell are all those emojis? I mean, they're cute, but why so suddenly? Did you just discover emojis or something? There were so many! Last one. I'm fond of this one, he says. It's cute. You don't get to hear him? Yeah, unfortunate, right? She's got like three plushies of them? Oh, my four-year-old kid loves axolotls. Aw, they're a mortal custom, no? A custom? I mean, people use them to chat. But the ones- Oh, shit, I didn't read. Thank you, I am well aware. He's well aware that he's using cute kawo mojis. They are kind of cute, but they're also kind of weird. What? They're not! They kind of are. When the internet, emojis are frequently used to text in text chats. Someone in Yihu Answers specifically said so. Oh, shut up. He's like five years old in the brain. <laughs> Alright, they are, but... Not those ones, usually. Or that high of a frequency. Those are called Kaomuji. They're not really normal emotes. Damn it. You didn't use them, you see, that you why the sudden change? This entire way of typing is different, it's like a 180 degree flip. I, it doesn't even matter. Ye who answers like two decades ago. <laughs> I shall refrain from using them further. Don't stop, I like laughing at them. Ugh, I wish I never called you. But you called! You're the one that wanted my full attention. Did you miss me or something? Nope, not really. Fuck. We'll get him one day, boys. Then why'd you call? Hey. I just wanted to see how quickly you'd answer. This motherfucker! Oh my god. We took like... We took like... Two minutes to answer. What do you mean, new record? I literally waited and was like talking to chat for a little bit too. This dude. He's a tsundere? Ah, uh, he's like all the dairies by now. Next time I won't answer at all. Of course you will. You are drawn to my charm after all. Ugh. I can't tell if this, you're just very self-confident or completely full of yourself. What? Well, first thing first. Self-confidence is as a mortal might say, hot. I mean, some self-confidence is great, but that much is... Uh, there is no point arguing with me there because I am correct as per usual. Secondly, you keep saying grim this, grim that. My name is not grim. Why would my name be grim? Completely and utterly foolish. I don't know, it kind of just suits you. What is your name then? I'm sure you'd love to know, wouldn't you? How must you desire my name to fall from your lips? Oh, I need a break. I need a break. <laughs> Please. The two new bio levels are off the charts. Why doesn't he have like an eye patch? It's so soothing for him. Huh? The only one desiring that is you. Huh. If you say so. Break 1v1 Suiko. <laughs> oh yeah, you do want to reclaim the win, don't you, Nori? Let's do that soon, let's do that soon. You're not disagreeing with me, I see. Listen here. My name is not for mortal ears. It is classified on all levels. How the hell can a name be classified? That doesn't make any sense. You really are full of secrets, Little Reaper. I like Little Reaper. It's so like poking him, like teasing him. I suppose a little secretism is attractive. I wonder what else you're keeping from me. I wonder if you have a name at all. I don't know what else you're keeping from me. I mean, what reason is I keeping your name a secret? The reasoning for that is... Classified. Somehow I knew you'd say that. What 
this is super unfair. You know my name. Honestly, life is overrated, he says on the messages. I say, I'm pretty fond of being alive. Life is unfair. The only fairness is in death. Anyway, why wouldn't I know it? It's quite literally my job. More like you hacked my computer when you installed this virus riddled program. And you stole my information. That's what you want to believe? Be my guest. I'll stick with Grim then. Or maybe I should come up with another nickname. Hmm. How about Ghost? How about Little Lamb? How about Snowball? Snowball because he's like white haired. <laughs> yeah, Snowball. What the? That's something you will call a dog. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, you will not call me Snowball. <laughs> Oh my god! Help! I thought it was kinda cute. And you are also kinda cute, so... I think it's a good fit. I... No. Just no. No? No. You're a little picky, aren't you? Then how about... Hmm, you're bright like the moon. Luna? Moonlight? What? No. Storm. Storm like X-Men. <laughs> Ugh, no. Generic white-haired anime boy? Nagito Kumaira! Oh my god, Dangan Ropa mentioned. Ah, if only Rice was here, she would so fucking love that. Please. Mr. Bones Q-tip. Oh my god. Any Dangan Ropa lovers in chat? Bruh. Generic white hair anime boy. What does that even mean? Hmm, I thought that was a good one. Phantom? Phantom? Oh my god. It's the gun I don't know how to use. What else is white? Can't think of anything else kind of edgy. What else is white? Ice? Ugh. Steve. Steve! <laughs> Imagine just Steve. No. Then... You know what? Grim will do just fine. Lord, please help me. Please don't subject me to these nicknames any longer. Okay, Steve. <laughs> we replied, okay, Steve. No need to overreact, Grim. You. Me? Yes, you. You're the only one here. Your words make me want to wring your neck myself. <laughs> Alright, I'm down! <laughs> All right, I'm down. Wait, why do you sound so excited? Well, you have to come see me in person to do it, right? I wouldn't mind meeting up with you for the right reason. Oh my god. <laughs> you will meet me eventually. On the day of your death. Hurry it up then. You better bring flowers too. Sure, that'll make things easier for you to accept. You'll be the first mortal I bring flowers to. Oh! Doki Doki! The first mortal? Have you given flowers to someone else not mortal before? I have not actually. I suppose I'm extra special then. I suppose so. Ah! Guys, he just admitted we're special! W Riz! We have W Riz! We did it! How does Grim Ripper dating work anyway? It usually does not work. Not the Gladys hee hee. <laughs> Mortals are forbidden, of course, and the rest of us are too busy working to take an interest in one another. Oh, Mortals are forbidden? Shucks. <laughs> but do you want to date someone? Err, uh, It's not that I do not want to. Oh my god, he's all shy? Shut up. Oh shit. Happy affiliate anniversary. Thank you, Divi. It's been two years. So touched. I didn't even know until I started streaming. Everyone was like uh, sending the, the auto message. And I was like, oh shit, it is. It's been two years. Anyway, who knows what will happen in the future. Same with me that time. Hey. Oh, hello, Divi. Yeah. Streamer means mod. 
or if anyone can meet my standards. Oh my god, the tongue. <laughs> I wouldn't mind trying. With an attitude like yours, you'd be lucky to find someone whose standards you meet. Yeah. I disagree. I would fit anyone's standards. Shut the fuck up. Just as I assume, I fit yours to a T. I don't, I don't think it's a T. Like, he's cute. But like, he's... There's a lot that ca uh, to unpack. You lie to yourself with such ease. What a skill to have. I can see the way your eyes trail over me. You can lie to yourself, but you cannot lie to me. Hmm. Anyway, just call me Grim. If I have to listen to even one of your one more of your stupid nicknames, then I might combust on the spot. But TBH Snowball is really good. Snowball's great. What about me? What about you? What? Do I get a nickname? Why would you need a nickname? I know your name perfectly well. He <clears throat> I pretend I didn't. I pre I pretend I didn't react to it. Oh my god. <clears throat> Perhaps you find yourself too flustered hearing your name spoken by someone like me. No. I just think nicknames are fun, and you get one. So I should get one too. You won't want to be unfair, would you? Oh, I love being unfair to mortals. Life is unfair. The only fairness is in death. Right? Those pretty little ears work after all. Oh, he really liked that we remembered his quote. You really... You think they're pretty? What? No. But you just said it. Pretty little ears. I was trying to insult you. Weird insult, buddy. Look, a nickname is unnecessary. But if you had to pick one... What would you pick? Hmm... Annoying? Irritating? Infuriating? Those are adjectives. My bad, I didn't realize we had nickname police here. Hmm... Seems like someone isn't creative. Don't tell me you're too shy to tell me. Give me a proper nickname. What would I say in this situation? Hmm. Give me a proper nickname. No! Nicknames breed familiarity and hilarious as it would be, I don't want you to become attached to me. Oh, come on, don't be such a downer. Fine, but don't cry I'm crying to me if you don't like it. Well, are you gonna tell me or not? I have given it some thought. And... Grim, don't leave a girl hanging. Ah! Shut the fuck up. Sunshine? You say that with such ease? You bitch. Sunshine? You think I'm like sunshine? <laughs> Nori is like, uh, shut the front door. I'm out of here. <laughs> Nori has to witness all of this as the cat on my bed. <laughs> Poor Nori, my cat. <laughs> Sorry, I misspoke. I meant nightmare. Ah. Uh Okay. No, I missed the blush screenshot. Shit, I'm sorry. I don't know how to go back. But he'll definitely blush again. Don't worry, Gladys. He will blush again. You absolutely did not misspeak. You, I think you meant it, actually. Clip it. <laughs> I don't mind being your sunshine. I'm stuffing my ears. La 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 la. I cannot hear you. He types in messages. You're literally not doing that, I, I reply. You're sweet, Grim. I wake up and my first Hiko line I hear is you, bitch. <laughs> That's because this guy literally just gave us a nickname and called us Sunshine out of nowhere. It's our second day meeting each other. This bitch. <laughs> but good morning to you, Dante. You're sweet, Grim. And you are delusional. We love that in this house. My data is so bad on the train. No, get home safely, Gladys. Completely and utterly. <sighs> you don't seem so sure. 
La 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 la, he keeps right typing in the messages. There's nothing more certain in life, or death for that matter. The Lulu is the so Lulu. Mm -hmm. Fine, then I'm completely and utterly delusional. But also, you think I'm like sunshine, so I have that going for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You really do seem kind of adorable sometimes, you know? When you look at me like that, I want to tease you. You must think about me a lot to pick out a nickname like that. Mm. All of the above, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I'll pick this one with a star in it then, since I like all of them. That's actually pretty cute. It was a mistake. What's a mistake that's made me happy? Oh. I... Oh, he brought... Gladys! Gladys! Gladys alert! <laughs> He's blushing again. <laughs> if you want to take your screenshot. Glad... <laughs> Gladys is like, fuck my phone. <laughs> my phone is so shit right now. <laughs> I'll wait, I'll wait. I'll wait for you to take your screenshot. I got it. Let's got it. Nice shoe. Okay, let's continue. Nine hells. I'm not made for this kind of thing. Thank you, of course. Anything for my girl. Look at me, Grim. Come on, call me Sunshine again. No, I refuse. Look deep into my eyes. Deep, deep into them. And call me Sunshine. I can't help but swoon. Hello? That doesn't feel very me, but okay. You're bullshitting me. <laughs> Who, me? I wouldn't dare. Come on, though. Say it again. No. Nope. Absolutely not. And what if I hand over my soul for it? You'd really do that? No, but I do want you to say it again. Ugh. Really? You can only blame yourself for coming up with such a cute nickname. There's no reason to be so shy, my little reaper. Ha! Ah! Huh, shy? You would call me shy? I'm anything but... Mm-hmm. That's why you're so flustered right now. I'm not flustered. I can call you whatever I want. So timid. So shy. So hesitant. Adorable. I like that about you. Oh! Man's got up from a seat. I, I am the Grim Reaper, for God's sake. I am none of those things. Then prove it. Take your time, I can wait. Ugh. Seriously, you're seriously hell spawn. You're you're like sunshine in the worst of ways. <laughs> you're far too bright. I hate sunlight. I can't help if I'm naturally radiant. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't mind casting some of my rays down at you. Naturally radiant, guys. My radiant dreams. <laughs> I doubt you can help your natural stupidity either. Eco radiant. Exactly. Finally, the Green Reaper said so. So, I am radiant today onwards, guys. <laughs> <sighs> Grim. What now? If you blush like that, you make me want to tease you more. Eco for PRX. Scare me, Eco. <laughs> You know what? My cat's on fire. I gotta go. Nori, why are you on fire, Nori? <laughs> You're what? And I think I left my stove on and my fridge open and the front door unlocked. Oh, he's his cat, not our cat. He's running away. I think I've used those excuses before too. But I don't want you to go yet. It's actually kind of fun in a weird way. Just gotta look past the Grim Reaper cosplay thing you've got going on. And the fact that you illegally installed this app on my computer, of course. It's not a... 
if, but even if your personality is kind of... Wait, what's wrong with my personality? I didn't say there was anything wrong with it, Grim. But if the shoe fits, my personality is fine. Yours, on the other hand. Also, I didn't illegally install anything. Your moral laws don't apply to me. Really? I wonder what the court would think if I sued you for invasion of privacy. They would never catch me anyway. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. I'm tracking your location right now. What? Just kidding. Unless... Track it all you like. You'll never be able to reach me anyway. Why? Do you live in another country? Sunshine. Ah! He's really calling us Sunshine from now onwards. Shut up. I live in another plane of existence. Oh, God. Such a... <laughs> oh, my God. Let me guess. The un Australia? <laughs> the underworld. Wow, I was expecting a stupid answer coming from you, to be honest. When have I answer ever answered you sarcastically or stupidly? Pretty much every single time. Honestly, it's even rarer you answer me seriously. I quite like it. Do you now? Yes, that's why I said it. I worry about you sometimes. What else do you like about me? Huh? Why would there be anything else? Getting real stalkery vibes? <laughs> Because you have a secret crush on me. What? Are you insane? You must be to reach that conclusion. I'm trying to have you killed. What about that gives you the impression I would have a crush on you? I don't mind the whole I want to kill you thing we have going on. <laughs> I'm looking past the fact that you want to kill me. You should not look past that fact. My stalker can't be this tuny, this dairy. <laughs> Mortal, I will be your demise. You would be you would you would be wise to remember that. If not for the fact that you won't just die, I would say you lack a self a sense of self-preservation. Anyway, that's all beside the point. Yes, I reside in the underworld. I hope your mortal eyes appreciate what none of your kind usually get to admire. Since when do they have Wi-Fi in the underworld anyway? Or computers or posters, nice posters by the way. The underworld seems to have it all. Do you think I should make the move? You are not destined for the underworld. No? Don't fancy a roommate? I would rather perish than share my space. Aw, even with me? Especially with you. Shame. I think I made a great housewife. H housewife? I could help you cook, clean, bathe, if you ask me nicely. His emo boy room? <laughs> I can bathe myself perfectly enough already, Green Reaper says in messages. Always room for improvement, I reply. Excuse me, I do not need help with bathing of all things. You don't want me to wash your back, back room, shame? Or I could even wash your hair for you. Offer a good full body scrub. I, will, I like the hair washing one, that's cute. I could even wash your hair for you. My hair? Do you not have hot water in the underworld? Of course there is hot water, but... That is not the point. My room? Hey, yo. Does your room look similar, Ovo? <laughs> Perfect, then it all works out. Maybe I'll even throw in a massage. If you give me one too. There will be no massaging or cooking together or sharing a house. Do you understand? He says while blushing extremely crazily. But the bathing is still on the table, eh? No, it is absolutely not. This is giving peeled orange. <laughs> yeah, MC is saying they peeled orange for Grim. Well, if you ever change your mind, I assure you, I, I won't. Anyway, you're changing the topic. If anyone's changing the subject, it's you. He looks cool. Does he now? <laughs> How do you even learn to install the virus on my computer? Did you take an advanced underworld hacking class, Grim? What? No, don't be stupid. I learned it myself. Okay. You kind of smart with the computer. All on your own? Yes. Got a problem with that? Not gonna lie, I'm impressed. As you should be. My talents are plentiful and perfected. Actually, I've changed my mind. I decided I'm appalled instead. Absolutely disgusted. 
talk about it from one extreme from to another. Maybe if you actually had some form of security on your computer, it wouldn't have been as easy. I have security? Yeah, well, one. Whatever one came with the computer. Right, it wasn't hard to get in at all. Are you sure you aren't some super hacker? As if I had time to have nonsense like for nonsense like that. Reaping souls is hard work, you know? Is it? I mean, every time we talk, you're just sitting in your room. Do you expect me to be working 24-7? As a green reaper? Yeah, kinda. Anyway. So you really just made up this whole program yourself? Like I already said, yes. How? How? What a loaded question. You wouldn't understand at all, trust me. Not that I tell you how anyway. Did you pay someone else to make it? Are you an idiot? I said I made it. I do not lie. But if you have to know, I did watch a tutorial. Aw, man's on YouTube tutorials. Grim Reaper can code, right? But with... But with a tutorial. A tutorial like a video on programming? Uh, yeah. I made use of the resources I had. Is that a problem for you? Not at all. Very resourceful of you. I shall add this to the list of attributes I associate you with. And what exactly does this list say or dare I ask? Annoying, creepy, very kind of cute, very resourceful. The first one. He asked Drain GPT. Yeah. Drain wouldn't know how to code a messaging application, I think. I am near none of those things. You are all of those things. Especially the cute part. I have exactly zero traits that relate to cuteness. Well, none whatsoever. Not true. I am the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper is not cute. How do you not understand something so elementary? You should tremble. Tremble? Yes. You should be terrified. Wait a second. Oh my god. What is that behind you? What are you on about? That plushie on your bed. The axolotl. It's so cute. What? Oh, oh no. He types in messages. OMG, it's so cute. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I reply. You did not see that. Not a word about it. Do you understand? What? How do you move that so fast? Bring it back. It's adorable. What's its name? Why the hell would I give him a name? Oh, a he? Ah, oh, shit. Grim has a little plushie. How adorable. This is the highlight of my day. Stop talking. <laughs> He's so cute and pink. Night night. Oh, good night. It's Ikosa. Thank you for coming. Bye bye. Let me name him for you. No. How about. No. Oh, I've got the perfect knit. His name is Azrael. Okay, that's cute. I'm somehow unsurprised by that name. What's that supposed to mean? The Angel of Death. Of course you name him Azrael. It's much better than any of the god-awful names I'm sure you're about to spout. Azrael? 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 I'm sorry, Nori. How is I supposed to pronounce it? I would have given him a great name, actually. Something positively devious. Well, he has a name. A great of discussion. A great of a dis as great of a discussion this is. Duty calls. Isn't it a bit late to go off to work? Mortal death can call at any time. Talk later, little human. See ya, Grim. Oh my God. Mom came in my room to want to vacuum the floor. <laughs> and I was like, Mom, I'll do it later. I'm just surprised to hear that name right now. I'm not judging your pronunciation. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of names, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if I did it wrongly. Look after yourself, Hiko. Thank you, um, Grimmy. 
Claiming your life belongs to me only. Hello? What was that? Nice. That almost sounded romantic. That can be quite romantic, don't you think? Hmm. Have a good night, Hiko. Good luck avoiding me tomorrow. Complete day two was the achievement. Bro said you belong with me then dips. I know, right? He went all Taylor Swift. Such a chad. <laughs> you kept turning around to check over your shoulder today. Something felt strange, like someone was watching you. But whenever you looked, no one was there. Curious. As you're walking home contemplating this feeling, you hear the sound of heavy wheels. You turn your head to see a truck rushing down a hill towards you, though no one sits in the driver's seat. Keep walking or wait where you are. Keep walking? You keep walking at a leisurely pace for a reason you don't even understand. You hear a crumbling, collapsing crash as... Uh, wait, and watch as the truck falls down into a sinkhole that appeared out of nowhere. Strange, but luckily you are unscathed. Yay, we made it to the next day. Hello, Nori, my cat. Let you Do you want to be checked on or do you want to play with me? 1v1 Suica. <laughs> Let's go. People standing around me on the train are going to know I'm watching the VTuber Hiko Pico underscore. More food, please. Uh, but there's no food. It's only check on or play. I heard Suika. Mm -hmm. More food. <laughs> you can do both. Oh! Let's do both then. Play with Nori. You pull out Nori's favorite toy, a small mouse on a stick. As soon as she locks eyes on it, she jumps to her feet and gets down low, ready to pounce. You, send, you spend a significant amount of time playing a game of cat and mouse with Nori. Time well spent in your books. Oh shit, check- Oh, uh, oh, do- I apologize. I'll do the checking now. Nori is hanging out on your bed, enjoying the last bit of sunlight coming through the window. Sitting in the sun is her absolute favorite thing in the entire world, after you, of course. She purrs as you give her a belly rub. Fortunately, Nori loves barely rubs. Can you confirm or deny Nori? <laughs> Seeing how happy she is makes you wish you were a cat napping in the sun all day. Aww. So true. Okay. Let's skim through the book to read. Diary. Dear Diaries. You know I turned 8 today? I guess you probably didn't because I didn't think diaries count as real people. So you probably don't know anything I won't tell you. But now you know this is good probably. Guess what? It snowed. And guess what again? It means I don't have school. Did you hear that? We don't have school. Yay! I have to wait for my presents, apparently. I want to open them now. When am I ever gonna get my presents? Okay, I'm gonna make a snowman now. I wonder if a, how is Wait, I wonder how a snowman gets a skeleton. We have skeletons, right? That'd be so cool. Okay, bye! Oh my god! The surprise at the It was eight-year-old me! Please! I plead the fourth. But I like to photosynthesize, yes. <laughs> So you do like the sun. Touching the grass, maybe? It's okay as long as you can do both. Okay, okay. Help, this was me at 8 years old. Adorable. I guess it's time to get on and talk to him. Let's talk to Grimmy. Do we get to paint something new? I think the peeled orange is enough, TBH. More than enough. Let's read our... Uh... Oh! Oh! Shut up. I would get so distracted by this for hours. Grass too much. So just photosynthesizing. Understood, understood. Okay, enough, enough. Did anything else change? Gallery? We unlocked something new, didn't we? His profile picture. Huh? Hmm. Any new games? No, it's the same games. Okay. Let's go chat room. Infinitepop.com. Yeah.
All right. Oh, fuck. I forgot to water my plant. Shit. My plant. How do I go back? How do I go back? No. I forgot to pop... Oh, shit. My plant, bro. Anyway, mortal. Do not call upon me this day. Adhere to my words, else a curse shall before you befall you. What? Message not sent. Hello? Plant is dead. Fuck, I'm so sad. I wanted to plant, uh, like, water it every day. Baby girl. <laughs> Grim? Her app is broken. Warning. Oh? System malfunction. <gasps> it just hits me. It looks like Zen from Mystic Messenger. Oh, the because of the long like lock of hair, right? The screen of your computer goes dark. No matter how many times you press the on button, it won't turn back on. Frustrated, you contemplate once again throwing a laptop out the window, then decide against it. Who can afford a new laptop in this day and age? You're waiting there like it's like this for 25 minutes when a ding from your computer gets your attention. Slowly put. Can I water my plant? <laughs> Instead, you see a call already connected. Why are you incapable of listening? I swear you don't listen purposefully. Message from Grim. Nor are following a single simple instruction. Why is your camera off? And what did you do to my computer? It's none of your business. I see. I very clearly said for you not to call upon me. Well, technically I didn't. I only messaged you. And it didn't even send. Is something wrong? I obviously meant do not disturb me. Do not call me, do not message me. Yeah, you could not seem to understand something so simple. So I simply disabled the functions. Even that didn't deter you. Okay, but why? Is everything alright? I... Are you okay? It is nothing to worry about. Oh my god, don't tell me he's about to lose his life or something because he hasn't been able to capture our soul. You can tell me if there's a problem. What makes you think there's a problem? I simply wanted a day of peace and quiet. Two things you're notoriously bad at. He's gonna be ejected. <laughs> you can say that, and yet you called me anyway. So it makes me think something happened. It seems like your skills of deduction are quite adequate, at least. So, what's wrong? I do not wish to discuss the matter. Somehow I miss your face, you know. Not a great asset for the company. How about turning your camera on? Grim? No, I would prefer not to. It is not a good idea at the present moment. What's that supposed to mean? Are you hurt? I suppose you could say that. Oh my god, did he crash? The lorry from earlier? He crashed into the, the... The little hole, right? He crashed! He was driving the lorry! He was trying to knock us over, but he, he crashed. Grim? Stop yelling. My mind just needs to stabilize itself, so to speak. Your mind? Yes, is there something wrong with your hearing today? Or perhaps there's a parrot in the call with us. Your sass hasn't been hurt, I see. I simply need to replenish my energy. You wouldn't understand. That I can understand. Maybe you should have a relaxing bath? As nice as that sounds, it won't be enough. I just need to rebalance. It's nothing personal, sorry. He types a message. You're making me worry more. I just need time, which is why I told you to leave me alone today. To rebalance? Yes, my soul has been spent too heavily today. Right, your soul, uh huh. Let us resume via text. Um, okay. All ended. This will work better. Even his profile picture is gone. Does he have to remove his profile picture? This dramatic bitch. <laughs> He's so dramatic. Stop. Not the black profile picture. Man just got through like a breakup and he said, do not contact me. 
<laughs> and then set everything to black. <laughs> this guy. You're simply too bright. Oh my god, we're sunshine. Guys, <laughs> we're sunshine. Too bright. Like sunlight. It's like those people when they are feeling emo and they put a pl black DP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they put like a black Insta story with, with a text that's like minus five points. You can't even read it unless you like took a screenshot and zoomed in. They put the they put the, the text that they want you to read, but they put it really small. It's like, do you want me to read it or not? That type of vibe. <laughs> Blindingly so. I can't decide if you mean that as a compliment or an insult. Honestly. How can someone's aura be so intense? Our aura... Is it because we we just can't die? And yet be so... Not... I'm unsure. What are you talking about? Thank you for the hydrate, Dante! Hydrated... You're an enigma to me. Wait, let me double check what that means. Enigma... Meaning... A person or a thing that is mysterious or difficult to understand. Yes. Okay. Oh. Hold on one second, guys. back okay the reason why i was tweaking so much nori <laughs> is because uh my mom came in with a mop because she wanted to to mop the floor and i was like oh shit like i wanted to mop my floor instead so i was like okay okay i'll do it i'll do it especially the part where like i dropped the coleslaw too like it's it's just the right time even though my mom didn't know i dropped coleslaw so i'm not gonna tell her that so i immediately took the mop from her i was like mom i'll do it <laughs> so i mopped the floor i mopped the, my, my room floor and and cleared the coleslaw part <laughs> And she'll never know. Yes. Good timing. <laughs> yeah, so like the whole tweaking thing was because like my entire body was moving to clean the room. Like uh, mop the room floor. Why is Hiko mom cleaning at this hour? I think uh, maybe guests are coming tomorrow or something. I don't know. Usually that's the case. Hi, Sasati. Welcome. How are you? Alright, let's continue. You're an enigma to me. And like Dante says, mystery to me. You say a lot of crazy things, but... You're being extra strange today. What do you mean by my aura? You wouldn't understand. After all, your eyes cannot see what mine see. Your aura, your soul, is like a mirage. At this hour, guests... Someone very early. Maybe, I don't know. My mom is like a little bit of a clean freak. Like I don't think she'll even uh, mind me saying that. It's not even an insult to her. She really loves cleanliness. So maybe like she just felt like the floor was needed to be mopped. Then she just wanted to do it. How's your day? It's okay. I, I technically have to end stream kind of soon. I know guys, whoa. Friday night? Leaving soon? Well, that's cause I have an early day trip to Malaysia tomorrow. Day trip, just a day trip, coming back uh, on the same day. And I have to, like, wake up at, like, 5.30 a.m. <laughs> so, for my, the, my own interests, I should go off soon enough. 
But I didn't expect this game to take longer than it did. We'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll try to like go off in maximum an hour. She felt the coleslaw in her bones. She sensed the fallen coleslaw. You guys are right. That totally happens. Like sometimes me and my little bro try to keep the cleanest we do while we like make instant noodles. We we try to make we, we try to like literally leave no trace. We're like, mom will never know we made instant noodles. The moment she steps into the kitchen when she comes home, she's like, Why you guys make a whole mess in my kitchen? And we're like, Oh what 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 caused it? She's like, it's oily, everywhere's everywhere is dirty, and we're like, it looks the same to us. It's just mom and things, man. Equal sleeping early, unheard of. I mean, I'll at least try to be in bed, you know? Like, not be streaming, which is like, opposite of sleeping, right? At least I go to the bed and try. Then I hopefully, like, eventually fall asleep, you know? Anyway. Maybe we clear this day or something? I don't know. But fuck, I'm really sad about, like, not, uh, not watering the plant, actually. <sighs> My plant. It's beyond odd. Most living creatures have an aura of solid color. Most? Most, yes. Some with a stronger connection to beyond have may have an aura with multiple colors. But the coloring is still solid, always. Ah. I still don't understand. Do you have an eye condition? What? No. You're you're not paying attention properly. Just listen. Your aura. Since we first spoke, I've been studying it. It does not resemble a living being's aura at all. Oh my god, guys, we're not human. <laughs> Turns to be 5 a.m. and I'm still awake. I'm hoping no more longer than 2 a.m. But these days, I haven't been able to sleep earlier than 2. So I'm hoping today I'm tired enough. I'll be sobbing later? Why? What's gonna happen? Sunshine become Reaper. OMG, we special. Hey guys, we unique. Are you trying to tell me I'm dead? You are not dead. The aura of the dead is like smoke, I suppose. It has a strong stench and it's thick. Yours is not like that either. So... What is my soul like then? Like sunlight shining through a fog. When I look closer, it's like a mirage. Let me double check the meaning of mirage. It's like the what you see in the desert, right? Optical illusion caused by atmospheric conditions, especially in the appearance of a sheet of water in the desert or a hot road caused by reflection of light from the sky by heated air. Yes, yes, yes. I was right. It's in 1.5 hours, Hiko. It's happening. Oh, fuck you, right? Is she streaming right now? Bro. Uh, I'm not emotionally ready, bro. Ha <sighs> oh, ha, oh, the stream. The stream starts at 1 a.m. Oh my goodness. I won't be able to watch it live. Because I, I need to try to be sleeping instead. Wife material? What? Like sunlight shining through a fog? Like, when you look at them, they're like a mirage as wife material? <laughs> Will we be watching Gladys? Hmm. Sag. I feel a lot of, like, deja vu. Like, I don't personally feel it that badly. Because, uh... Like, Pomu isn't my Oshi, so, per se. But, yeah, when it happened with my Kami Oshi, like, I... I felt all of that. I remember, I, I just looked back at, like, some of my tweets... In, like, August... July, August 2022, and... I, I was pretty much tweeting the exact same things as the current, like, Pomodachis. I, I pretty much tweet the exact same things. And, like, it, it's like, when I think about how I felt back then... Like, I, I feel really bad for the current Pomodachis, to be honest. Sad. Oh, man, and listening to the Totsumachi, and then, like... I, I, I got through most of it, but I haven't heard the important ones. I wanted to hear like Petra's one and Elira's one. I haven't heard those yet. I, I heard maybe like five hours of the Totsumachi. Like the starting part and then from Mil eh? from Madin onwards to the end. So in between, I haven't heard them yet. Like Shu, Elira, Petra, I haven't heard theirs with Pomu, which I really want to. 
And I remember when I was watching Maizumi's Totsumachi, the one before his final graduation that lasted more than 24 hours. Because many, many people wanted to Totsumachi with him. Totsu with him, I mean. I was legitimately like, my eyes were not dry at all. I was constantly crying. Every single call. And one of the calls was Elira and Petra as well. And they tried their best to speak in Japanese to say how much of an inspiration Mayuzumi was to them. Elira being first wave, right, as well. Bringing, e uh, bringing Niji Sanji to the Ian world. She felt that Mayuzumi was such an inspiration to her. And she was really sad that he had to leave when they just started Ian as well. Because Mayuzumi helped bridge a lot of JP and Ian too with his events and everything. And Elira started crying when talking to Mayuzumi. And when I heard that, and then when Elira and Petra both started crying, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, my tears could not stop. Yeah, so I can imagine, like, when the Pomodachis are listening to Pomu's Totsu, they must have felt exactly how I felt when I, when I was listening to Mayu's. I can only relate in that way. Uh. That was me and Nina's. I haven't heard Elira's too. Yeah, a lot of people in the comments were saying that Elira said everything we all felt and thought. So I, I imagine I would be crying if I heard Elira again. Elira just knows how to talk so well, girl. Uh. I read all the PowerPoint messages. The PowerPoint that uh, Petra put together with all the messages from every EN member to Pomo. I read everything too. And like, fuck man, it's like a, it's like a farewell like card. And I got goosebumps. I, uh... But yeah. I'll miss Pomu. Even though I, I didn't watch her very much. I did watch quite a lot of her streams compared to other EN members, I'd, I'd say. Definitely in the upper more region of watching streams. It's just very comfy to listen to her. And I always mention it, it's just like a huge inspiration because of the fact that we have a similar coming of age in a sense where she was office lady and then she quit her job to be VTuber. And I just felt like that was like a story to to remember. I mean, I wouldn't quit my office job yet for VTubing, but it's just something I admire. And she'd be actually gone soon. TBH, now that I think about it, when you're actually thinking of like VTubing or Niji Sanji as your company to work at as a like job, it kind of makes sense that she made the move like two years in. Like, you know, after two years at your job, it's time to jumpstart something else, something new in your career so that you keep progressing in your career, right? So uh, in, in a career sense, it makes sense. Two years in, it's time to carry on and, you know, further your education or find a new job in a new space so like it totally made sense I guess hugs Gladys I won't be there in the stream but I will be there in spirit <sighs> apparently a lot of people will be joining to play the games like every totsumachi she got every call in she got she was like are you joining the games for my last stream and they were like yeah I am I put it in my calendar. I put it on my notepad. That kind of thing. So, I'm sad I won't be able to watch it live, but... Either that or I miss my entire day trip in JB, you know. Hmm. Enjoy the stream later. Glad it's... Anyway, let's continue with Grim Reaper. It's there, but it's not. The colors are strong yet empty. That seems like a contradiction to me. Have fun, JB. Thank you. You'll be interested to know who I'm going with. Especially you, Ovo. <laughs> know what that means, Ovo? Lavander macarons. Very nice. I think. Go back to Logo Me. I think I know. Mm -hmm. Of course you know. Why else would I call you out to say you would be interested? <laughs> As a sippy dachi. <laughs> For real. Yes, yes. 
I will be going with Siti and Huhu. Hmm. I'm really excited. It's been a while since I met them. I don't think I've even met them this year yet. Have I? No, I haven't. Yeah, it's my first time meeting them this year. Slay slay. Have you been cursed? Grim Reaper asked. Please stay safe. Thank you. I'll try to protect them with all my might. <laughs> or maybe made a blood promise them broke it. I was cursed after breaking a blood promise six moons ago. <laughs> Sheepy in danger, I'll be summoned. I'm Batman. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that Sheepy has that protection. And the Grim Reaper definitely believes us. This is crucial information. Why would you withhold this? The curse will not allow me to say. If I speak of the details, it will drain my life force away forever. That would make sense. And would explain some of the symptoms. And not only that... My blood now bleeds black. As dark as the night sky. Are you fooling around right now? Obviously. Seriously, Grim? Blood promises? Curses? Have you gone insane? Sorry, even more insane? What am I supposed to do for you to understand? If you start making sense, then I'll understand. I have an idea. You know what? After this whole weird conversation, I don't know if I like the thought of you having an idea. You still do not believe my words. I can try. I suppose it'll have to do. So what is an, this idea of yours then? I'm going to channel some of my life force into you. <gasps> That's even more than just IRL date, Nori. What is this idea he has? He's gonna be in us? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh golly. Oh golly. All right. What? Then maybe it'll take me seriously. As a reaper, it will pose no challenge to me, in theory. We'll just become like super strong then, right? Because our, our aura is like different and then we get like the reaper's life force. We're, we're gonna be like strong as fuck. Um, uh, how exactly does one channel life force? And what exactly does that mean? I know I've been playing along with your whole Green Reaper thing, but you're just kind of buttload stranger. I've not lied to you once, even once since we met. If you want to prove that, then look into my eyes. I will form a connection between us. Right, right, I see. The eyes can be a gateway to one's soul. And it's necessary to form the bridge between us. Okay, now. A bridge, of course. Can it be a pretty bridge? How you guys can't say a guy's ever wanted to make a mind bridge with me before? Oh! He said, then I'm glad to be your first and only. Shut the fuck up! Yes, this should work. Once a connection has formed, I will transfer a part of my conscience to you. What? This is so totally normal. It's not an ability many have. So normal, it is not. Will it hurt? If you resist, it will. The connection will become unstable. And your mind will fight me like the body will fight an affection. But know that I am stronger, so it is likely your mind will fracture if it were to resist against me. Fracture? Like the map in- I'll oh, shut up, guys. What does that mean? Your mind would fall apart. You will lose the ability to understand life. Essentially, you will lose yourself. I wouldn't be me anymore? Hopcon. No. You would be a husk, an empty shell of yourself. 
typically a perfect vessel for a demon to inhabit. Then they are really hassle to deal with, so let's not do that, yeah? So this is a consensual possession, huh? And if I change my mind... Boom. Demon time. When you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm doing something forbidden. Possession does sound pretty forbidden, not gonna lie. It doesn't really fall under the classification of possession unless I forcibly take control of your body. So you aren't breaking my any underworld rules or anything then? Boom, demon time. I know, right? It's got the same vibe as like, Hello, demons. It's me, your boy. <laughs> You naughty boy! Ah! <laughs> How many rules are you about to break? Does it matter? Also, when you call me a naughty boy, it gives me a strange feeling. Oh my god, he likes it! Ah! Fuck off! Go away! <laughs> I'm unsure if it's a good one or not. Anyway, shall we begin? Oh, guys, we're about to... Mutually possess each other. As romantic as that might sound. Oh, shit. I'm still thinking about the plant that I didn't water. Wow, I love talking to a blank screen. Ugh, I suppose it's needed. Fine, whatever. Happy now? He doesn't look that different. You don't look very hurt. What? You said... It's not something visible to the eye. Nor is it anything for you to think heavily on. So, no need to bring it up. Can't you just tell me? I'll worry otherwise. It's simply my mind. Your mind? Oh shit, I didn't read. Better go back. You know until you've recovered. Might make it worse. I suppose that's a sensible thing to do. But it's nothing I haven't dealt with before. Let's go ahead with it. Oh, I think um, MC was probably trying to convince him not to do the mind possession whatever thing. While he's still like not stable. But he wants to do it. Is this not dangerous for your health? As long as I don't delve into your mind too deep, it will be fine. <laughs> if you say so. Okay, so I just look at you. Just... Yes? Don't look away until the connection is formed. How will I know when it's formed? You will feel it. And I shall tell you, of course. So forceful people, shy. <laughs> what about that resistance? Once I've connected to you, my conscience will merge with yours. You should feel me around you, so don't try to push me away. Oh shit, guys. Y'all doing a connection through video call is so meme. <laughs> I know! It's giving e-dater, like, 2020, 2024 e-dater vibes. If you try to force me out, it'll cause an imbalance in our connection. You aren't gonna make me do weird things, right? Don't be ridiculous, this isn't some party trick. You want me to prove I'm serious, and I want answers. Me and my E Grim Reaper. Exactly! This is literally the name of the game. Literally, that is supposed to be like probably the second title of the game. This is mutually beneficial. So once you're in, you're gonna do what exactly? Look for said answers. Which means... Nine hells, you ask so many questions. I'm about to hypothesize you in my mind. Of course I'm gonna have questions. I almost sound like I really believe you. Maybe I'm the real crazy one? I'm going to examine your aura. Feel it. Smell it. Oh shit, guys. He's about to smell our aura. Surely you could have phrased it a little better. And maybe you'll give me answers on what is stopping me from completing this godforsaken task. Wait a second. Why did I come into Sniffa? Well... Are you surprised anymore, Hat? Seeing as you keep mentioning that you want to, you know, kill me. Is this actually a ploy for you to take my soul? Hmm, I suppose that's a fair comment. I will do nothing to harm you. You can trust me. 
Trust a guy want to take my soul. Right. I cannot lie. I will not touch a single hair on your head. Fine, I believe you. I just expected from Floyd. But like, this is... I'm literally reading the text. What do you want from me? I'm reading text from the, from the game. As prepared I'll ever be... I trust you with my soul? That's kind of romantic, no? Okay, I trust you with my soul, Grim. That's a lot of trust. Well, you have the professional experience with souls, right? I, you're probably one of the most trustworthy people to look after a soul. Your reading has been very helpful. Thank you very much, Nori, my cat. <laughs> That's also probably something Hatred will be very confused by. <laughs> yes, Nori, my pet cat. <laughs> You have a cat now, meow. Yeah, look. Nori meows. <laughs> See, this is why you shouldn't miss hours of my stream. <laughs> Lots happens in like two hours or so. <laughs> anyway. Or something, I don't know. I have severe my my brain rot. What the fuck is going on now? You and me both, you and me both. Stay still and prepare yourself. Oh shit, guys, we're about to look in each other's eyes and like have each other's souls be bare upon each other or something. Nearly there. Grim? Shh, don't break my connection. Are you sure that is? Stop wiggling. You cause irreparable damage and it'll be your fault entirely. I will not feel sorry for you. Just keep your eyes on me. I am. There you are. Oh! Ah! It... Something feels strange. The connection is stable. Which is lucky, by the way, because of all your wiggling. You were serious about the whole possession thing. I think I'm gonna faint. How is this possible? This isn't a trick, isn't it? I mean, I can't even think of a way you would trick me. There's no tricks. You and I are not linked. Even you can tell that. Would a regular mortal be able to do that? Wait a second, I never claimed you were normal. That much was obvious. Even you could tell how extraordinary I am. That makes sense. Okay. You're good at making compliments out of things that aren't compliments. Thank you. By the way, it feels cold. You feel cold. Happy. Fi Thank you. It's been two years. Imagine. I'm so old. I'm two years old. What? I'm cold? That's you, right? The cold feeling? I'm surprised you can feel that. Our connection is stable, sure, but... You really were serious this whole time? You're... Actually the Grim Reaper? And he says in the messages, I told you, now look somewhat foolish, don't you? Nothing new there. <clears throat> As I've been telling you this entire time, I'm always truthful. It seems that you finally start to believe me. How, how, how could that be possible? That is a question bigger than you or I. It simply is. Anyway, do you feel that? Do you feel me? The connection. I feel it. Like a pull. Good. Can you see through my eyes? How does this work? Is this where I start doing questionable things with my body? <laughs> I'm asked the first one. Can you see through my eyes? How does this work? Not until I transfer a part of my conscience into you. You haven't done that yet? No. All I've done is link us together. Think of it as a bond of sorts. Part of myself will throw, flow through your aura, and then my conscience will be inside you. Then I could technically see through your eyes. Wouldn't that mean like if we died, he feels it too? Isn't that bad for him? But I mean, he would know better, I guess. He's Grim Reaper. That makes absolutely no sense. It makes perfect sense. Grim? Yes? 
if I accidentally, you'll be fine. The bridge between us is quite stable. It seems you and I are quite suited to each other. Hmm. Okay, I believe you. Good. This is the start of a partnership between the two of us. But why would he do that with somebody he's trying to kill? Hmm. I'm confused. Does that mean I get to keep my soul? It means you can keep it today. Is that good enough? With the tongue out? Help. I suppose. Anyway, how do we do this? Picture a connection. A bridge. Okay. It's a huge bridge. Very impressive. Congratulations. One side is yours, the other side is mine. I'm simply gonna walk across the bridge with part of my conscience. Sounds simple enough. When I tell you to, you simply close your eyes. But hold tight to the handles, okay? That is the pull of my mind. What if I let go? Then you can say bye-bye to your mind as you know it. Okay, let's try to avoid that then. Do not let go for crying out loud. Gotcha, don't let go. What will happen to you though? Like hypothetically. I would pull out of your mind. No doubt pulling parts of you out when I do so. Oh. I'll hold on tight. Good choice. Phew. I'm going to begin crossing. Take a deep breath and remain calm. I'm cheering for you, baby girl. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god. I'm cheering for you, baby girl. You're already distracting me. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, this is honestly the stupidest idea I've ever had. So what is with this baby girl thing? How am I baby girl? Yes, Wotakun. It made a comeback. Baby girl is back. You're pathetic but cute. You just give off male wife vibes. Sorry, submissive and... I mean, just sweet like that. Uh... Like all of the above? You're pathetic but cute. Let's keep it simple. Pathetic but cute. I have a history of accomplishments. I'm an overachiever. Yet you call me pathetic. Let's just get back to the whole soul thing. Close your eyes. Closing? Okay. Oh. When I've made it across, you can open them again. Okay. Huh, that doesn't make sense. Interesting. Oh. Oh. Grim, maybe this is a bad idea. I'm worried. I'm, what, I'm scared that if I. Mortal, calm down. Don't stop worrying so much. As long as you stay calm, then nothing will go wrong. Is he gonna TP through the screen? Oh my god. I think something is wrong. It doesn't feel right. Oh, fuck my name. He... He's Omen. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. I can feel that pull. But it scares me. Stop it immediately. If you do this, then everything will be lost. Everything. But what if you're tricking me after all? What if I'm just letting myself le be led into a trap? Listen to me. Hear my words clearly. I am not your enemy. I have never been your enemy. I do not lie. You can trust me. I will do nothing to harm you with this. I'm trying. If this is supposed to be... So, so be trying. To be trying. I wouldn't want to see that if what's opposite that is to you. <laughs> Just gotta see the ass will be confirmed. If you want to die, congratulations. You're well on your way. No, no, I don't want to die. Then calm yourself. Picture my hand reaching out to you. Oh, okay. Your hand. Grab it. I've got it. Mortal, you're nearly... Ugh. Do not let go until I tell you to. Grim, I'm sorry. I've got you. I'm across. Open your eyes, mortal. Mortal. E? Oh. 
Fuck, I thought we'd be like, you know, like what you said, he TP through the screen, but he, we were still video calling. Unless? How do you feel? Oh. Strange kind of fool. We've never, you have a little more soul than usual in you right now. Now let's take a look at the aura of yours up close. Huh. What is it? How did you... How could that... Wait a second. I can hear you in my head. Yes. I should have mentioned that this connection has benefits and drawbacks. It is not permanent. Oh my god. We have like double mic right now. Amazing. My talents are amazing, yes. Thank you for noticing. Nora, why no TP? A little more soul. Okay. <laughs> no, not your talents. It's amazing this is possible. Yes, thanks to my talents. I'm very talented after all. Talented and amazing and all that. Oh my god, this dude. So, can you see my aura? I can see, yes. Mind you, I could see it before too. Now I can feel it, I suppose. It feels... Hmm... Sparse? Not exactly what I want a pretty man to call me, but okay. Is that bad? Hmm... I'm unsure at the moment. It's... I don't know what it means. Hmm... You have some serious RBF right now. What is that? Resting bitch face? What? I can assure you my face is bordering on heavenly. There is no bitch face. <laughs> Fine, but what's with the face? It's bright. You're bright. I've told you this already. Pay more attention. Right, you don't like the light, do you? Do you sparkle in the sun like that vampire in the movie? Does it actually hurt you? What? No. It just... I'm just a little sensitive, okay? Says Grim Reaper in the messages. It hurts my eyes to look too closely, that's all. Careful not to damage your eyes, then. Don't look too close, alright? Fantastic advice, except I must look closely if I am to work out exactly what is wrong with you. But it hurts you, that makes me feel kind of bad. I'll deal with it. So are souls supposed to be that bright? Sometimes, so souls can shine or glow, like yours. It's rare, but not unheard of. But, hmm, yours doesn't look the same, nor feel the same as anyone else's. Maybe you should try smelling it. <laughs> oh god. You did say you were gonna do that, right? It has no scent. Phew, I was worried I'd smell like eggs I ate last night. Uh, yeah, we can both be thankful that was not the case. What the lack of smell tells us is that you're indeed not cursed. Which is good, but it still doesn't explain anything. Close your eyes again, it helps me to concentrate. Looking into my eyes is that distracting, huh? Hmm, what the? What is it now? Grim? Open. Give the Dinoxus, Doc. In all of my years, I've never seen anything like this before. What is it? It's... you? Me? Close your eyes again. What? No, start explaining. Just do as you're told. You could say please, you know. Please. Okay. He says in the messages, There is no one better on your plane or mine than I. I am everything people should strive to be. And we reply, Steve, at it again. I am the best of the best. I like the positivity. It is an indisputable fact. Yet, I can't make any sense of this. Maybe you're not the best of the best then. Nonsense. That is not an option. If anything, this is a problem with you, not me. Ouch. Your aura, it... Pulses and ebbs. Oh. Pulses? When you close your eyes, yes, it pulses. Open them again for me. And now? Now it ripples. The colors flow like oil on water. Maybe it's like a shield. Maybe something is protecting me? Is there something you need protection from? That would be... 
You? I won't harm you. I've told you such. Yeah, you won't harm me this time. But you're, out you're still after my soul, right? Correct? But not today. I'm still not at my full strength. I don't believe you for now. So, no answers? You can't rush perfection. No, but I can rush you. I will look more into it later. There must be something mentioned in the tome somewhere. Pulsating auras. And then there's your other issue. Other issue? Until I understand what's going on, it's best you don't ask questions. I know, I know. That will be difficult for you. Out of all the mortals in existence, you must be the one who asks the most questions. Why can't I ask questions? Would you like that? Another question. Ah, <sighs> Knowledge is dangerous. Oh my god, knowledge. Especially if it is wrong. So you'll tell me once you know more? Perhaps. Maybe you can be behave or beg. Oh. Pweety please. <laughs> Do I really have to beg? I'd rather not. Do I really have to beg? I mean, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to know... Maybe you begged me first? I think it's time for me to go. Time is ticking. <laughs> beg... Oh my... Nori. <laughs> now so suddenly? I need rest. I need answers. The answers will be coming first. Do you think you could perhaps be a workaholic? My well-being becomes second to my responsibility. And he says over here, but thank you. Um, I appreciate it. Get some rest, please. I reply. My well-being... Okay, I've already read that. The responsibility of being the Grim Reaper? That is correct. And I still can't believe it. I feel like I should be worried for my soul, but... You're not very threatening. I can be plenty threatening when I want to be. You just haven't seen that side of me yet. Then show it to me. Not today. And I don't believe you. Mortal, I do not lie. If you say so. I'm hanging up now. Try not to miss gazing into my eyes too much. This fucker! You told me I had to! Indeed. But you've stared long enough after you needed to. You're always staring at me, aren't you? Exclamation mark times three. You told me fo to focus on the pool. You are the pool. You literally told me to watch you. Of course I focused on you. Oh, I see how it is. You act all tough, but the thought of being watched so intently makes you shy, doesn't it? Does not. It does. I'm too tired to deal with this. I'm leaving now. Try not to get up too much trouble while I'm gone. Night night, Mr. Grim Reaper. You can at least try to sound a little scared. GG's. By the way, I'm assuming I can't tell people about you. Oh. Absolutely not. If you find if I find out you have told others of this, there will be hell to pay. Like anyone at all? Do you really have a death wish? Maybe I just like pushing your buttons. You are truly infuriating. Thank you. <laughs> I'm literally watching it happen. Oopsies. What's happening? Oh, like telling others? Oh, sorry, chat. Oops. <laughs> I can't believe you changed your profile picture to that. Oh, to nothing, right? You're, you and your edgy teenager-like ass. Ah! Say it. Tell him. Tell him, MC. I do not see what is funny about it. I did not want to be connect contacted. So a solid black picture seemed to convey that. It definitely did, Lamau. I feel like you're being sarcastic, but I will allow it this once. Louder for the people in black. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow we will talk about what happened. What nearly happened, that is. You could have died. Okay. Would have made life easier for you, though? Go, rest. You may not feel it, but your mind will need it after what happened. Nice to know you care. Or don't. And suffer for it later. Your choice. I don't care either way. Such heartwarming support. Thank you. I suppose I'll take it to heart this one time. I will take it eventually. My heart? Your heart, your soul, you entirely? 
That's a bold claim. No other shot. Oh. Woo. <laughs> so me? Which part? <laughs> Drain? <laughs> Which part? <laughs> You really do self insert into every game I play. <laughs> Which part is so you now? Oh my god. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> the part of the Grim Reaper, or maybe the Grim Reaper who understood being able to code uh, an application, mes messaging application. Um, I don't know. Which part? <laughs> Which... <laughs> oh my god! No other shall have you. Good night, sunshine. <laughs> Shut up. This is a screenshot if I've seen one. If it was a real message to me, but like, you know, it's a game. So anyway. Complete day three. I want to water my plant. New items added to gallery. Wow. <sighs> Today was a very strange day for you. As it turns out, the Grim Reaper is real. No Adrian. That makes a lot of like things convenient because I do have Petra that I need to grab from you. <laughs> let's uh, um um let's make it happen soon. I was thinking of like a homie meetup. Of everybody that you need to pass things to. And if Gladys wants to join, she could too. What do you think, Drain? Gladys wanna have a homie meetup. Okay, we'll talk about it in DMs. <laughs> anyway, as it turns out, the Grim Reaper is real. Real and video calling you like it's nothing. You spent the majority of the day at work unable to be productive. How could you be after such a revelation? As you get back to your apartment, you're feeling a little pent up with energy and you decide to take the steps rather than the elevator. Just as you reach your floor, you hear a loud bang. A few people come up from their apartments to find out what happened. You later learn that the elevator had a malfunctioning cable and it snapped, plummeting multiple floors down. <gasps> Suddenly, you're very glad you've walked. So the energy told her to. Oh my god, let's quickly plant, uh, plant water please. Thank goodness. You water it generously and feel excited that this time you didn't kill your plant instantly. Phew. Okay, Nori. We check on you. Nori is hanging out on your bed at the moment. As you sit down next to her, you think a little bit of your shared history. Just how did you come up with her name again? Um, <laughs> yeah, how did we come up with this cat's name, Nori? You named out your favorite character, it came to you on a whim. You looked up a list of 100 best animal names, you thought about it for ages. I, I definitely thought about it for so long, for ages. You plan out her name seven months in advance. <laughs> You've always been good at being prepared. Yes. Nori, we will now <laughs> groom you. Nori's looking particularly relaxed right now and you know what's the best time to strike. Calmly, you sit next to her and on the bed and pull out a rubber brush. Luckily, Nori enjoys being brushed and happily sleeps through the grooming session. What she enjoys less is having her nails clipped, but you manage to get through them all. <laughs> Clip shift and cancelled. <laughs> you give Nori a little treat at the end of it. But Nori, I gave you a little treat. <laughs> Nori, a treat, Nori. Your comfortable bed. Though it's still early for sleeping, can't help but feel tired. Your sleep last night was... Sleep? What sleep? <laughs> Shallow at most. As it turns out, the strange white hair Green Reaper roleplay or you mess actually Green Reaper, actually Green Reaper, and actually after you sold. Oh, okay, food. <laughs> was it worth the treat? Of course it was. Curious. Alright. Alright, I guess we we talk to Grim Reaper now. For now. <laughs> oh shit, wait, I wanna check the book. The books. How do I go out? Um Deep. It's a new book every day. 
Rovari. You are akin to the moon and the stars and the oceans, boundless and free, shining and deep. You illuminate the darkness and cradle the light. You rise and fall and follow your own path through the night. With a bottomless heart, you help those in need, and even when such actions may cause you to bleed. For but wait, so shine brightly and embrace the unknown, for in that magic, you find your own. Hmm? Nice. Okay, now we talk to the Grim Reaper. I wonder how many days there are. Kinda don't want to end it if it's soon. Like, I want to finish it in one stream if it's soon, but... If there's more, I might have to leave so I can wake up in time. BRB, I keep close. Okay. Gummaree. Okay, let's talk. How's it going for my favorite Grim Reaper? Any news? I'll take that as a no then. Unless it's a yes and you're just ignoring me. You wouldn't do that, right? Ah! He changed his profile picture to the axolotl. <laughs> Shut up. Ah. I said I might perhaps tell you. Ooh, the axolotl. Best profile picture yet. As Ryle is the cutest. This is uh, status right now. Let's fucking go. Ah, the man of the hour. I am really, I really am always on your mind, aren't I? In this instance, yes, always a little much. Yeah, I think about you a lot. What about it? You'd like it if you were, wouldn't you? I'd be more concerned about the amount of time you spent fantasizing about death. That's an interesting thought. Is the Grim Reaper literally death? I bring death. I represent death. I quite like death. But is that the same thing? See it as you will. Whether I'm literally death or not is up to your interpretation. You seem a little too lively to be called death incarnate. I like the idea of you being literally death. But either way, we're getting off topic here. So? You're so very demanding. To make a long story short, there is 110% something wrong with you. Wow, you just came out and say it. Did. You wanted to know. So I told you, simple as that. You could say it a little more nicely. Anyway, just to remove chat for a bit so you guys can see the the ad. It says, whoops, he burnt down your house. Leave or revenge. Let's see what game it is that they're advertising. The Divine Speaker. Wait, it's the same game. It's the same, um, it's the same Yaoi game. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Let me put chat back. Wait. How else would I tell you? There's literally something wrong with you. It's a sus one. Yeah, it is. Hello? The next the next advertisement is premium penal enhancements? 10 out of 10 advisor 69. Shut up! Oh my god, it's getting more and more NSFW, the, the ads. You're a normal and abnormal mortal. The bully becomes the bullied. Sometimes in life, it's just better to say things how they are. Don't you mean in death? Since you're the spokesperson on living? Since when are you a spokesperson on living? You are still living, are you not? Or maybe I'm flesh eating zombie on my way to munch you. That's where your brain goes. We're having a serious discussion here. It was just a thought. Well, maybe stop having them then. I'm sure you're further damaging what little remains of your brain tissue. You don't think I'm some st mutant superhuman, are you? Do you? I absolutely do not. Phew. Well, how do I put this lightly? Are you being considerate of me right now, Grim? Colon O? I am about to tell you bad news. So I was just trying to be nice. Grim being nice? What does the world come to? Okay, maybe I shouldn't care how about, about how you feel. My bad. So it's very bad news. Am I dying? Oh god, Grim, I'm too young to die. No, you aren't dying. If you were, that would be fantastic news. It's worse than dying. What? Let me just... Ex just let me explain. There's something wrong with your soul, okay? Apparently, the main story for this game is about 3 hours 36 minutes, and for completion, it's about 7 hours 17 minutes. Oh. Then it would make sense I'd take like 6 hours. 
hmm. <laughs> to get like one end. Which means it's kind of soon. I don't know. Should I keep going? Let's see. Let's just keep going for now. Because we at least end this day and then decide. I feel like we're kind of close though. No? To like an end. My soul? Is it broken? Thank you for telling me though, Gladys. Hmm. I wouldn't say broken exactly. And what exactly is wrong with it? Grim. You're awfully pushy, aren't you? Something is wrong, that's all I have to say to you. I need more time to look into it further, then I may or may not tell you more. But what does it change for me? Well, nothing... For now, nothing, I suppose. You suppose? No problem. Hey. Then what if I do something dangerous? Wouldn't I make it worse? You want my honest opinion? For some reason, yes. Just go about your days as you normally would. Easily said. You weren't even aware there was an issue until a moment ago. There is no reason for you to completely change how you're living your life now. If anything, that is what will cause you damage. That actually does make some, some amount of sense. Obviously. It was something I said after all, and my words are dripping with wisdom. Plus, I'm always correct. We both know that. Oh, really? Hello? She said there was like a barrier thingy around her? Yeah, like it ebbs and pulses. Or something. Wait, let's solve this. One sec. Calculator. Uh... We do... According to Pafma, it is it Pafma? Oh my god, I don't remember. Pemdas, not Pafma. <laughs> According to Pemdas, it's eight eight it's eight two seven three six divided by seven four six first, right? Then times fifty-four then plus one seven six three eight four, right? 182,372.9329758713163792225201072 Wait, 36729222502 You can't just write out the entire thing? Huh? What do you mean? What? You're always right. Answer my math questions then. Not using a calculator. Shit, I just did. <laughs> yeah! I got it right! Huh? That is the answer to your question. You cheated. I did not. You did. I don't even own a calculator. You googled it. I absolutely did not. I'm simply a math genius. Oh my god, this dude. Just because you cannot solve it doesn't mean I cannot. Your intellect is obviously lacking. Hey. Look, maybe you got that right, but... You can't be right 100% of the time. Why not? The probability that is almost zero. But not impossible. Certainly not for one as talented as I. All that rubbish aside. How are you feeling today? Do not concern yourself with my welfare. I'll do whatever I want. I'm just curious. I'm not actually worried. Right, of course. That is the proper relationship between a hunter and its prey. I'm kidding, I do kinda care. So, are you back to normal then? I knew you cared about my welfare. You are nosy and overly prying human, if nothing else. Always sticking your nose where it does not belong. We know each other for three days, dude! Okay, could you leave it at caring and considerate? A very invasive, sticky beak, beak of a human indeed. But since you're insatiably curious, I am feeling great actually, which absolutely makes no sense. I've not rested, nor eaten, nor had a chance to meditate. And I feel as good as new. <gasps> He's taking our energy. That sounds like good news to me. It's confusing news. I do not like being confused. If you, I would prefer to feel unwell and know why. Then suddenly feel good and left wondering how. Maybe my presence is healing you. Less than three. If anything, your presence only hastens my tiredness. <laughs> Ouch. What made you unwell anyway? My soul is becoming unbalanced. A soul can do that? Usually no, but for a Grim Reaper, maintaining a balance is essential. What happens if you don't keep it balanced? 
you die. Grim Reaper can die? Indeed, death comes to everyone eventually. You're not immortal? I do not age if that's what you're asking. I cannot be killed under normal circumstances. But my soul can be corrupted with the taint or the light, and I will simply fade away. The taint? The light? You know too much already. We're just gonna take my soul anyway, right? What does it matter if you tell me the truth? I suppose... I, it may be somewhat nice to talk to someone about it. I'm good at listening, smiley face. Also good at asking too many questions. Fine. I must maintain a balance of light and dark in my own soul to continue my existence. When I take a soul, I take on a part of its darkness. If the soul is difficult, it only worsens the effect on myself. This is the taint. When I spare someone or spend too much time in the mortal realm, when my soul tips towards light, the weight of that taint tilted my soul towards darkness. Wait, in this case, the soul I took two days ago refused to move on to the afterlife. It resulted in a struggle. The weight of that taint tilted my soul towards darkness. I'm glad I don't have to do all of that to live. My continued survival is complicated, yes, but I have a handle on it. Oh, Cole Height, thank you so much for the follow. And thank you for congratulating me on my affiliate anniversary. Appreciate, appreciate. It's been two years. Happy two years! And thank you so much for following me. I hope you're alright. Is Kohait like a Kohait and like opposite of Kohait? Or am I thinking too much? Anyway, I survived all this time after all. Yes. So that means you're a senpai then. <laughs> At least you're okay now. My soul should not be balanced yet, but it is. Ever since I linked our minds. Right, ever since we became one. Exactly. Well, I didn't expect you to agree with me. Why would I not? For once, you said something reasonable. I saw this in my recommended channels and I've never heard of the, this game. So it got my interest. Yeah, it's, a, it's called A Date With Death. It's a free game, so don't expect too much, uh, you know, groundbreaking gameplay. But something you could do is if you um, bought the DLC, you can customize your MC, which is me over here, and the bedroom. And then you get to talk with Death himself, pretty much. I'm, I think like, maybe three-fifths of the way to through the game, maybe? I, I, feel, I feel that's about the amount right now. We're on day four. We finished three days. And we just became one with the Grim Reaper or something. It is very groundbreaking. We get to be in a relationship with a Chuni. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Grim over here has an axolotl little plushie that he made his profile picture. So take what we will with that information of what he's like as a Grim Reaper. Anyway, that is the truth. Our minds combined, not fully, but enough. You and I are connected now. I was trying to make you flustered actually. Why would I? Oh, we've not become one like that. You never know what will happen in the future. Uh, anyway, doing that together would make me um not better. I feel it would throw me even more off balance. That is beside the point, however. The link we share cannot be the reason I feel better suddenly. No, there must be another explanation and I will find it. Why is he in denial? He already said we were like so bright like sunlight, right? That's why he calls us sunshine as a nickname. That's why he balances light and dark. He was a little on the dark side. So now he's on the light side or balanced thanks to us with the light. As easy as that, Grim. Later though. I feel like I know the answer, but are you the reason such strange things keep happening to me, to me every day? Define strange. The where to begin. Pianos falling, windows wide in front of me, trains getting derailed, a fire at work. Pianos. Yes, that was me. Why? Because I'm trying to take your soul. You know this. I know you know this. So why play dumb? I just thought, you know, a Grim Reaper was a cool way to take someone's soul. I cannot simply take your soul before your human body dies. It is against the rules. 
When it is time, you will die, and I will collect your soul from your dying body. Then why try to kill me? Why not wait for nature to take its course? Nature was meant to take its course with you years upon years ago. Oh, lore, guys. Yet here you are. Oh. So I'm supposed to be dead? Yes. Says who? OMG, the PFP is. Yeah, it's the Axolotl plushie. And look, his status says Ezrael is the cutest. Stop it. Says me and the list I have with your name on it. Maybe we were supposed to meet. Supposed to meet? Yeah. I was meant to die and didn't. Thanks to that, we met. If anything is fate, perhaps that is. If our fates are truly linked like that, you would only suffer. If I were you, I would pray that was not the case. Well, I'm happy to have met you. Despite everything. Thanks. I... Never mind, don't worry about it. You should just concentrate on the fact that I'm trying to kill you, okay? So... You're really just trying to kill me in totally random ways. Yes. Is that how you usually do things? Of course not. Like I said, nature usually takes its course. People die the way they are supposed to, the way they are destined to from the moment they are born. In your case, you need a bit of a push. Has anyone ever needed a bit of a push? No. It is just you. It's always been just you. That sounds almost romantic. In a way, I suppose it is. You're destined for me. I am the hunter and you my- Oh my god. Ooh. I'll shake that off a little bit. <laughs> oh. Woo. Alright. We'll be lo locked to- <laughs> Shut up, Gladys. <laughs> Not the soap. <laughs> uh, uh. We'll be locked into one another until one of us wins. Wow. She wants to 1v1 us in Valorant, guys. <laughs> He wants to see who one taps each other first. <laughs> Alright, Hopcon Grim Reaper. <laughs> Which will be me, of course. Okay, he's BMing. He's talking trash. He's ISO alting. <laughs> Show him. Even if it kills me in the process. Hey, yo. Emote? Oh my god, he added an emote to his chat messenger. Wait a second. What's that? It is me. Obviously, but where is it coming from? I wonder if you can omen out of out of an ISO alt? Oh, interesting question. I remember someone did something with Astra and ISO before too, and it was like kind of weird. But I don't know. Maybe not. But if an alt can cancel an alt, it would make sense because they're both alts. I don't know. Someone should Google that. I will Google that right now. Can you omen alt out of ISO alt? Can omen- Somebody on Reddit actually asked it. Can omen use his alt to escape ISO alt? As an omen main, I'm curious to see if omen is able to escape an ISO gulag using his ultimate. It's also interesting to see how other alts can be used in the gulag. Abilities are disabled in the gulag. Uh, abilities are disabled inside of the that that uh, dimension. Chamber on an eco round being taken to the gulag. Interesting. Anyway, I sent it. Did you draw it yourself? What? Do I look like I have the time to draw? You have the time to message me? That is a fair comment. No, I did not draw it. I commissioned a mortal artist. Oh, okay. Grim Reaper knows how to commission artists. Let's fucking go. You commissioned someone? Yes. Oh, you cute. <laughs> Do you see the likeness? It's cute. Usually I would argue. However, in this case, I believe cute is the right term. It has compounded all of my handsomeness into acute roundness. <laughs> Shut up, Grim. I want to look at the emote again. Please. 
I wonder what he uses as like a reference to the artist. Like, does he take a selfie and says, uh, reference this image? <laughs> he partakes in capitalism, plus plus social credit. I tip the artist as they did a good job. Anyway, you just sent a human a photo of yourself? How else would they capture my likeness? It's not against your Grim Reaper rules? Whether it is or not does not matter. So it is. He he commissioned an artist against his Grim Reaper rules. <laughs> Call me Grim, I'll draw you extra cutely. Send me selfies. You heard her, Grim? Perhaps. However, bending the rules is sometimes necessary. But me selfies on my way. Oh my goodness. Are you bending the rules by talking to me? You're clever, Hiko. Sometimes too clever. <laughs> I like being called clever. Yes, I'm forbidden from speaking the mortals, let alone one whose soul I seek. Breaking all the rules for me then, huh? For you, don't be ridiculous. I've broken them only for myself. What if I tell on you? Tell who? Your boss? You have a boss, right? And how would you get in contact with this hypothetical boss? I could start by programming a strange app and installing it on their computer. Ha! Huh, you cannot even come up with your own plan. I'm doing it right now. It's installing. Hey, wait a second. Nearly done. Any second now. He he falls for all of our tricks. Wait, don't. Don't think about a second for what are you doing? I would be in immense trouble. Forget getting fired. I'd just be killed. It's installed. I'm starting to write them a message. Wait! Please? <laughs> I mean, I know I'm trying to have you die, but you wouldn't want me to die, would you? Well... For my little meow meow, I, let's, I guess I can stop. <gasps> Get me out of here. <laughs> Get me out of this game! What is this choice? Oh my god! Am I not your meow meow SMH? Don't get jealous, Nor. You're always the number one meow meow, okay? You're like literally on my bed. How are you supposed to fight with this Grim Reaper that I'm only E talking to, you know? Anyway, but for my little me, how can I not choose? How can I not choose that choice? How can I not choose it? For my little meow meow, I guess I can stop. Your little what? You know what? Fine, for this, I can be. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Grim Reaper. What is happening right now? I feel like I'm not even playing this game. I'm like, I've gone to another space, another realm. What is happening? By the way, I never installed anything in the first place. What? Ugh. Mortal, you will know true suffering one of these days. You will know how I feel. You will trick this reaper no longer. So you have that blushing emote. Is there any more? I've received a few depicting a wide range of emotions. Do you pose when you took the photos? Naturally. How else would Marl be able to capture such beauty? Show me more. <laughs> I'm almost jealous. Do you have a folder of secret selfies you've taken somewhere, Grim? Show me the selfies. Secret selfies. If by that you mean a pictures of myself, then of course I do. I'm quite charming after all. Very photogenic as well. Send them! Send them! Send them! Wait, seriously? Hold on, you said you posed for them, right? I literally just told you that I did. Someone said meow? Yes, Drain. Yes, Drain, we did. Like, actually, my cats did. Yeah. Then that means you... Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you so excited about? You pouted in the picture? You should have sent it to me! Why would I send that to you? 
your little pouty blush cute? Because I want to see it. Because I want to see it. Oh, you know what? Once again, I'm proving to be an excellent problem solver. Make sure you pick up, okay? <gasps> now we're the ones calling! We're the ones calling! Oh my god, he answers the call. People shy. Okay. You're getting rather demanding, mortal. Start prodding, pretty boy! Prod, please! What are you talking about? He puts in messages. I want to see you pout. Excuse me? No, I'm pout already. What? No. Why in all caps, he writes. Then send me the picture instead. I will not. Come on, I want to see you pout. The emoji is cute, but maybe the real thing isn't? Too bad. You called me for this? You called the literal Grim Reaper to see him pout? A pout for you too! Will you now? Go on then. I'll pout. I'll take it seriously. Ah! Oh my god, he calls cute. It's happening, guys. The link, the connection, our minds. He, he actually. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what did you just say? Maybe I said you were ugly. Where's the pout, Iko? Oh yeah, you're right. But I have to turn on V Bridger for it. One sec. I don't know if it'll work. What if I break everything? But I'll do it just for my little meow meow. <laughs> I literally died saying that. Okay, let's see. V Bridger is on. Wait, well, how do I? Hold on. Start. Wait. Um, VTube Studio. I need to stop the. The current VTube studio first. How do I do it? Uh, camera off? Oh. I guess that could be a pout too. Started on V Bridger. VTS path not found. What the fuck? Okay, one sec. Settings. Locate VTube studio. Select folder. Close settings. Start. Oh, program everything. Oh, 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 everything's working, it looks like. I think. Okay, let me try pouting now. Wait, does it work? I need to check. Camera on. No? No? It's not working? Why? Which camera do I use? Or do I connect? I don't know how to use V Bridger, guys. Uh... I forgot how I made it work or uh, the other time. Oopsies. Do I do it like that? No? Okay, I don't know how to do it. My bad. I can't pout today. One day when I figure out V-Bridger... <laughs> oh, connect. <gasps> wait. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. I'll come to the middle. I'll come to the middle. I figured it out. Kinda. But I only know how to pout. It's also really janky. Y'all seen it? <laughs> this only happens when I have V Bridger on. Like, for some reason, right? Like, for example, when I talk, 
it doesn't capture my mouth when I use V-Bridger. Only the power. Like, literally only the power. Like, you see me talking now, right, guys? But my mouth doesn't move. It's like I'm a ventriculist. Or how you pronounce that. But the pout works. It's the only thing that works. It's only if I open my mouth super big. Like, like 100%. Uh, I think it's the V-Bridger settings that I need to work with. Like the mouth something something. I don't know. But anyway. I, I did the pout. I did the pout. Okay, let me close V-Bridger now. Uh, and then go back to VTube Studio. Turn camera on. Oh. Thank you for the head pat. Who did that? Nori. Oh, uh oh, I can't move now. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Nori. Why is it my camera tracking? Uh oh. Uh oh. Tracking. Choose camera. Select. Yes. Yes. No? Uh oh. Did I just break VTube Studio? Maybe I should turn it off and on again. Yeah. Let me close VTube Studio, sorry guys, and turn it back on. <clears throat> this is why VBridger is like super tricky to me. Like I never know how it works and then like everything's weird. You're so cute beside him. I'm not 100% sure he's my type right now, but he is kind of cute. Like just fun to tease. Oh, there we are. I'm alive. And I have no glasses. Oh my god, I look like I'm legally blind. I can't see shit. You guys haven't seen me without glasses for a while, right? The table is broken. What table? Feels so naked. I know, right? You guys are like more used to the glasses, right? Okay, I'll have the glasses back on. Like, now it's me. Who is this? <laughs> uh, okay, let me go back to my seat. Let's continue. You didn't. You said cute. Did I? You must have heard incorrectly. Maybe try cleaning out your ears. Those are about cheat. He sold when there it hurts. You said cute. There was a, this was a pointless waste of time. I see how to take it up a notch. Commencing phase one of trying to embarrass Grim. This is so stupid. Huh? What? I said Pout not look surprised. Don't worry about it. You're rather insistent, aren't you? And that's how you get what you want. Persistence can be an admirable trait, but it won't save you from your inevitable fate. Whoa, that rhymed. I suppose not, but it might help to get you Pout. You're bold. I'll give you that. Bold and stupid. How often does that work for you? Bars. I know, right, Gladys? More often than you'd think. I'd love to know where this confidence comes from. Trade secrets, you know how it is. Ha, huh. and what trade is that supposed to be? A secret one? I suppose we both have our secrets then. That seems only fair. Mine are related to death and beyond, and yours are about confidence in making the Grim Reaper pout. <laughs> seems about the same level of importance. Exactly, at least at least you recognize that, Grim. You're right, they seem similar. I was joking. No, you? Sarcasm? I know, unlike me, I feel so guilty. You seem the kind of person who never feels guilty. What can I say? What would someone like me have to feel guilty about? That's a good question. Do you have any guilty pleasures? Oh my god. We're we asking the questions now. Hmm. Give me some examples. Sometimes I eat dessert before dinner, I scroll on TikTok too much, I listen to the same song on repeat for hours. Three words, YouTube conspiracy videos. Um, I do like all of the above except for TikTok. If you change it to Twitter though, then that's guilty pleasure as hell, because I... 
I can't not touch Twitter. It's a, it's very unfortunate. I'm always on it. Okay. But I'm kind of all of the above. But I'm gonna go food. Dessert before dinner. That seems entirely reasonable. In fact, I question why dinner is needed at all. Why not just sustain yourself on dessert? Now you're speaking my language. It's your turn now. I suppose one could call it a guilty pleasure. Mortal re reality shows, they're quite the spectacle. Okay, so he watches like Terrace House. He watches like Singles Inferno. He watches Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Okay. Reality shows? Seriously? Hi, Kimo. Thank you so much. It is my affiliate anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Mortals are oddly skilled at creating drama from nothing. My people are not like that. You're funny, Grim. I know, my humor knows no bounds. And stupid. Perhaps you're confusing yourself with me. There's definitely one stupid person here, and it isn't me. Don't lie. You have to know how stupid you sound sometimes. I told you, I cannot lie. You cannot? Or will you not? Sup, baby? Okay. We're coming in with BBG now. Whoa there. <laughs> okay, Kimo. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Really choked on my water. Oh my god. Okay. Or will you not? I cannot. I'm not able to. What part don't you understand? Is this some weird Green Reaper magic thing? It's not magic. We're simply bound by our oath. I physically cannot speak a lie. Whoa, okay, like actually? Yes, like actually. How many times must I repeat myself? Don't smile like that. Don't even think about using this to your advantage, he says in chat. And I say, you can't stop me. It's always BG BBG, when will it be XMM? Oh my god, you know about that, Nori? You know about XMM? Ah! <laughs> I would rather be called BBG over XMM any day. Please. Thank you for calling me BBG. Now I appreciate it. Please don't call me XMM. <laughs> oh my god. Glazio Divi once called me that. He said he he said I radiated XMM energy and I was like fuck off. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Bitch I'm a cat. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> DJJ? What is that? DJJ. DJ. I don't know what that is. Anyway. Okay, okay. Yes, guys, I am definitely Big Sis. I, I, I fully immerse myself into the, the role of Big Sister to most of you guys. Okay. Oh, I can think of plenty of fun things to do with this information. Uh, you know, I can still refuse to answer your questions. My oath doesn't force me to speak, only to not speak lies. Where to start, where to start? Do you believe in love at first sight? What, you wanna play 20 questions now? So is that a yes or no? No. Oh, he does not believe in love at first sight. Do you cuddle Azrael in bed? What, why would you care? Do you cuddle Azrael while in your in bed? Or yes or no, Grim? Let's talk about something else. Okay, we definitely would not know the answer. It's so cute when he puts his tongue out the little mlem. Mmm. I know, right? One day when I work out the tongue thing with v Berger, I may be able to do it too because I see the setting. I see the setting in, in VTube Studio that tongue is possible. <laughs> I just don't know how to work it. There is... There is no... There is no tutorial on how to set stuff up in VBridger. I tried looking for it on YouTube. Or maybe I'm just not looking in the right places. Okay, I'll show you guys the setting, okay? For what may come in the future when I, I, I find out how to do it. Where is it? There we go. Tongue out. There is a setting here that, that Papa Montipu put for me. I just don't know how to do it. Wait, is there a way to show it right now? Uh, maybe zero? Minus...
No idea. I don't know how to make it work. It's at one now. So it means... Uh... Don't see it. Oh well, I tried. I thought I could manipulate the number so that it automatically come out. It's not a toggle, this is giving logic programming. Could it be a toggle? Wait, let me look for it. One sec. <laughs> maybe, maybe multiple Baba did make it a toggle, but I just didn't see. Tong, tong, tong. Oh, I could make it a toggle myself. Let's try it. Let's try it together here, guys. Okay, hotkey name, maybe tongue out. Hotkey action, set expression, I think. Wait, no tongue. <laughs> this is a very interesting topic right now. Animation? Yeah, no, there is no, there is no, um, Expression that says tongue, right? Did I read wrongly? Angry, bag, blush, book, arm, braid, crying, glasses, happy, head cat, jacket off, laugh, shocked, purple, green eyes, red eyes, red, green eyes, smirk, swap, tongue, wait, tail, zun, waku, waku. Yeah, no tongue. So it's, if, if they never, like if Monsipo Papa didn't said it, then I wouldn't. Yeah, no, there is no animation for tongue either. Hmm, I can't do it. Maybe I have to ask Mutipo Papa for advice on how to do it. I just may I just know too little, maybe. Anyway, let's continue. You do No is still an answer. Maybe it's just there from a template? Maybe, maybe. But um Yuni Mama did make like a, a tongue like illustration. So it's possible that it's there is somewhere. Okay, we're getting distracted, but I feel like I should show you guys. Let's find my my PSD. I've never showed you guys the PSD, right? It's gonna be like new stuff. Like because Mama Uni did like uh create a lot of layers. To make a lot of things possible. To be rigged. Like even the teeth and everything. Like the teeth? Mmm. Those are all all like separated on its own to be able to be rigged properly. This is the full live 2D model. Let me look for the Oh my god, the lag. It's a very heavy file. <laughs> Let me look for the, the tongue, possibly. Let's see. There are so many layers in here. Especially when I have like Chico as well, right? So there's a, a whole... Like, like there's like times two of layers because of the switch between Chico to Hiko. It's, every single layer has to change color. And I know that that was probably Mama Yuni's like most dreaded uh, toggle to work on. Head? Head... Lip... Gotta be here somewhere. There we go, tongue. But I gotta remove... Okay, actually, let me, let me move the tongue to the side. That might be the best way, right? Yeah, but... No... <laughs> or should I just remove? It will look a little weird though, right? If I remove. Okay, let's try. Oh, they're all separate. Oh my god. I need time to like figure out. Lip line. Like. There's my tongue. 
Is there somewhere? It looks a little weird, guys, but there it is. So if I like move the tongue above. Oh dear. It should theoretically look something like this, but obviously a lot, a lot better. Right? Theor theoretically. Oh my goodness. I'm destroying Mama Uni's art. Theoretically, something like this, but like obviously not like how I did it. Tongue exists. Oh, oh, it is. <laughs> you guys see, right? Wait. It's like below. It's like it's below the teeth. Yeah. And the fact that like. Let me close this for now. Don't save. The fact like in VTube Studio. Hmm. Where's that setting again? I didn't mean to go all the way back, guys. My bad. The fact that in VTube Studio it says tongue out, I kind of feel like it would be a setting. But maybe, like you, like you said, Nori, like it's probably this there. But like maybe because I didn't request it, Mama, you need uh, Mama, uh, Papa, Mutipu didn't do it. Maybe. But the tongue is there. see it. Oh well. One day maybe if I find the courage to ask uh, Papa Multipu about it. If, if there was ever tongue rigging, then I'll let you guys know. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with that. Is it any of your business? We're talking about Axolotl by the way, for those that got whisked away by my by my me talking about other things. Oh fuck, it's already 1 a.m. Shit. We got too carried away! <laughs> ah! But I'm enjoying it anyway. Okay, after this call, I think we end stream. Then I continue next stream for the rest of A Date With Death. Maybe find other endings too, other stream. So it's like, it's still a lot of content for next stream. But I think now... After this call and the end of the fourth day, I think we end stream. Because I, I really do need to... Prepare myself for sleep. <laughs> Alright, Grim cuddling his little teddy. He's not a teddy. The utter disrespect towards Azrael will not be tolerated. Wow, you're completely serious. Very. So, pineapple on pizza? Of course. Pineapple is created by the gods to be placed on pizza. Okay. Finally, someone that sees sense. I knew you were a smart man. Glad you recognize it. Hmm, then... Do you think I'm pretty? I pass. Ah. That means it's a yes! You can't pass! I said I pass. I refuse to play this infantile game any longer. And you think I'm beautiful? Oh, for the love of... Oh, no? I didn't say that, did I? Oh! Pinap on pizza. You don't like that, Nori? You don't like pineapples on pizza? I personally don't mind them. I think maybe because, like... It just feels really tropical. Like a... Tropical... Like, I think if you like kebabs or something like that, you wouldn't mind it, right? Something like that. For a melon? You like pinap on pinap for a melon. Oh, yes, yes, Nori. You're really looking forward to that Suika 1v1, are you? <laughs> you know what? You know what? We'll Let's do it. One Suika 1v1 before I sleep. <laughs> we might as well since I'm here. Okay, okay, wait, wait. After we finish this call. I'm practicing. Oh my god, you're actually playing Suica.world right now? Do you think about me often? Oh! Snowy reality VTuber, thank you for the follow. I love it. Thank you for the head pat. Does the reality VTuber mean like you stream on reality the app? Or is it just like the name? Your name is Snowy Reality. Because I would imagine... Like, if you call yourself reality YouTuber, it means you stream on reality the app. But I might be overthinking. But hi! Thank you so much for the follow! Anyway. Wah. Eh? Where did... Where did the hearts go? Oh, shit, there it is. 
Thank you, Floor Hot Sammy. Why are they so small? Thank you, thank you. They're tiny. Is that just me? Oh. That's because I'm I'm tiny. What in the world? When did that happen? So much scuff today. Must be because of the V Bridger. Thank you so much for throwing all those hearts, Snowy. Anyway, you're all I think about right now, mortal. Guys, um, wait a second. <laughs> Let's reel it back in into the story, because what is he saying right now? OMG, while blushing? Shut up. It's aggravating. It's mutual. I know. He totally likes her. Have you ever been in love? I do not think so. You don't think so? I've simply never lived a life nor had the time to consider like that. Something like that. I'm too busy and love and death don't tend to mix easily. I believe I've mentioned it somewhat before. Do you wish you could? Fall in love? Why? Hmm, for the happiness it brings? Why do I need someone else to be happy? Valid, valid. Well, you don't. Lots of people are happy alone and that's okay too. I just thought you seemed lonely. That's ouch, girl. That's something to say, MC. Lonely, huh? He says, You need not concern yourself over my loneliness. That is a part of being a reaper. And I reply, That's sad, actually. Lonely, huh? You can think of what you wish of me. Hmm, neither a yes or a no, I see. You may take of it what you wish. Alright, alright then. Okay, have you ever kissed anyone? Oh my gosh, she's not done with the 20 questions. No, I've not been in love and I would not kiss someone I did not love. Have you? Me? No, the other person I'm chatting to. Of course I mean you, mortal. Mmm. Sorry, Grim, I don't kiss and tell. You can just say yes, you know. Interesting. Then have you... Nope, it's still my turn. He could. Oh shit, he's good. He's uh, starting to have fun with the 20 questions, it looks like. Thought this was an infantile game? It is. But if you get to play, so do I. Are you afraid? Afraid of what? Of me. I think it'd be stupid not to be a little scared. Smart girl. But I think I'm more interested than scared. Interested? Yeah. You're kind of an interesting person, Grim. That much is obvious. No, really. I see you're expanding your harem once more, Hiko. Of course, glad you're seeing that's the case, my bro Strix. This time with a Grim Reaper who looks like a hot anime man through video call. <laughs> Despite everything, I'm glad we met. Anyway, it's my turn again. What's your name? Your real name? I told you, that information is classified. Really? I thought that you were... Lying? No, Hiko. So you won't tell me? No, that would be risking my very position and therefore my life. I believe it's my turn. Have you felt anything unusual today? Unusual? How so? Just anything off? Okay, this is a little suspicious. What is it? What did you do? What makes you think I've done something? Was this a- is this the same day as when we avoided the... The... The elevator? I don't even remember if it's the same day anymore, but if it is, then he might have protected us from the elevator. Well, have you? Intentionally? No. Grim? Whoopsies, teehee. Teehee! We reply in the message. You see, I seem to have left a small portion of myself teether to you. You what? Part of myself seems to have remained after what happened yesterday. Um, yes, sorry, he replies. In chat. Then he says... Like, well, I guess you can leave it there. It's like I'm carrying a piece of you around everywhere. I do not intend to leave it behind. I don't mind, I kind of like it. You like it? Yeah. Really? I guess I... I, I guess it would displease you. Well, your hypothesis is wrong because it's pretty cool. I'm quite concerned for your mental state, Hiko. <laughs> we are insane. Not many people would be pleased about a person they barely know attached to their body. 
<laughs> Thanks, my little reaper. Ah! Do not call me that. Why not? I am not in any sense of the world little. Another interesting truth from the man himself. I come back to Hiko admitting insanity. Uh, no comment. Not little at all. I'm keeping that tidbit in my head. Hey, I didn't mean you're shameless and totally, completely shameless. Hee <laughs> hee. That is a very Hiko core. The hee hee. Stare him down. Stare even harder. Oh, he's blushing. Wink and stick your tongue out. You don't... I can't... You don't like it? So you do like it. Wink again. Wait. I <laughs> forgot. Almost, almost. <laughs> Good enough, fuck. You are, you are very cheeky. Yes. Only for you. You shouldn't be. So I can actually keep it? Your soul fragment? It would be unwise for me to collect it yet. The risk would be too great. At this point, it is too deeply embedded within your soul. And considering what happened yesterday... Ah, yeah. Sorry for, you know... It was foolish. You should have trusted me. I should have, yes. You nearly lost yourself, sunshine. Ah! Whenever he calls us sunshine, I feel like I am. Um, how do you measure light? 500,000 watts! Okay. I'm surprised, however, that you managed to come back from that. Consider yourself extremely lucky. I do, I didn't realize it won't happen again. I promise. Good. Then your leftover soul thing. Are you going to use it to spy on me? Will you... <laughs> watch me while I work? No, why would I want to do that? I don't mind if you did. Your mindset is really something. But no, I will not be watching you. I can't use it to spy on you. That piece of my soul is far too small for something like that. Well, that's certainly reassuring. And they did this. If it were an if another were to sense it on you, they would see I already laid my claim. It is a mark against your soul, one that shows you were touched by death itself. Oh shit, that is kind of romantic. And it would be foolish to try to take something that belongs to someone else. Hmm. I don't find things oh, you me. Oh, I wouldn't say I belong to you. Mmm. Mmm. I wouldn't say I belong to you. Not yet. Your soul does. Really? I feel pretty alive right now. Not for much longer. We'll see about that, won't we? Yes, we will. <laughs> Maybe I'll lay claim on you instead. And yeah, snowball. You exist to take souls, right? Mine in particular. Kinda seems I have a hold on you already. Death cannot be owned. Sure, but you aren't death. You're you. You bring death and guide souls. You aren't death itself, in my opinion. So I think you- I do have some sort of a claim on you. You think you can control a reaper? Do you want me to? We'll see, little reaper. Ah! Shut up. He actually likes little reaper. You're a very forward person. It is perhaps a blessing and a curse. You mess with my mind and heart, he says in the messages. Let's fucking go. Progress. Then it's working. I do not know what I did to deserve this fate. I can't think of a better fate for you. Both of us have kind of shitty fates, huh? We're like two peas in a pod. Yes, well, that's well and good, but you're... And what? You know what? I have something I need to do. You can't just leave me without telling me what you're gonna say. I can. I will. It's exactly what I plan to do. Please. You as mortal say dish it but cannot take it. Anyway. Good night, sunshine. I enjoyed talking to you.
I did too. Wait a second, guys. What is happening? We're doing that thing where we're like telling each other we enjoy talking to each other now? Oh, shit. We're at this stage? Also, good night, sunshine. Shut up. Night, Grim. Complete day four. Okay, I think we end off here for Grim... Not Grim. Uh, for a date with death. And we continue next time. You love him? What can I say? Yeah, we continue next time for uh, level... I mean, day five onwards. Let's save. Oh my god, we haven't saved yet at all? My goodness. Atu, atu. Hopcon Suika 1v1? <laughs> Just one and then I sleep. Thank you for that, Pat Nori. Thank you for being the cat on my bed. I'm scared. But okay. <laughs> alright, alright. You know, you, you can you can say no, you know, Nori. <laughs> we can do it offline if you want. <laughs> so it's like not broadcasted. If that's what you're afraid of. Oh wow, amazing. I have so many people to raid because I'm ending stream at a normal time. We're gonna raid summer soon. If, when we can. Okay. You're right with it, right Nori? We, we do it now? Live? Then I'll go Suica.world Like... I'm a, more afraid of who I'm against People shy I'm not that good at Suica game I, I have my fair share of throws Just talk about Omen's ass and immediately I'm like It's fucked for me, you know? So don't worry about it Alright, let's play Co-op Fuck, I forgot again that I shouldn't press this co-op. Private lobby co-op. Copy code. Imagine if our entire like DM's history, Nori, is like just... <laughs> it's just Suica world lobbies. Think which is bigger, Omen's ass or the melons? Omen's ass. Omen's ass are two Suicas. He's a double Suica. So like, good for him, you know? Alright, let's go, Nori. Alright, 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 let's play. Pico, Pico, thank you! I missed wow. this video. Wow. Tadaima. Thank you, Space, for making Petra say my name. Yes, it's co-op, Nori. Did you want? Did you want PFP, P, PVP? Sorry, I didn't ask you. I should have asked. Oh man, did did you want PFP, PVP? We could we could restart in PVP now, if you want. PvP hee hee. Nori! <laughs> fine, fine. I'm so weak at it. Okay, okay, I restart. I stop now? Or do you want to like finish it? Question mark. Okay. I will go make the room. Suica Dark World. What if I just leave? What happens to you? Okay, play. Private lobby PvP. There you go. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Nori says they've been practicing too. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be, it's gonna end terribly for me. Lucky. 
就是。Gigantic the fuck? Oh shit. I'm literally fucked. Oh, okay, yeah. Nice. Up. Yeah. Ah. I don't know if what I'm doing is right, but I'll keep going. <laughs> I'm sweating. Pee pee so hard. Come on, come on, come on! Eh? Oh my god, GG. Wait, wait, I, I still have to beat your score. One sec. How are you so fast? Oh. Yeah! <laughs> I did it. Woohoo. Big Pitch killed me. Alright. You have to get another Peach. Oh, the, the big, like, uh, spoiled Peach? Or, like, the whatever... What's that called? The moon? The big moon. Yeah, this takes up so much space. The Asian pair, yeah. GG! Next time, next time. How did I win even though I was slower? Suica game puzzles me. PvP at least. I don't play it. <laughs> anyway, good game, good game. We, we battle again next time. Anyway, thanks for streaming everybody. Let's raise summer, which is something I haven't been able to do for such a long time. So it's my complete pre ple pleasure. <laughs> to put uh, to oh my god I can't speak. It's my complete pleasure to finally raid Summer after such a long time. She hasn't streamed in a long time, that's why I wasn't able to raid her. And also because I always stream later than her because, understandably, I live in Japan. I mean, she lives in Japan. Fuck, I can't speak. She lives in Japan, so like she usually sleeps earlier. So thank goodness she's more degen than me today. So let's go over and send uh, let's go over and send uh. All the love to Summer, okay, everybody? Oh, Space, you already did it, but yes. Hey, couple homies came to support, how are you? Let's go over and say hi to Summer, who's trying to get platinum, platinum and ranked. Platinum ranked. Valorant ranked. Good night, everybody. I had so much fun playing a date with Dove today. Finally, a new game, and we're not done with it yet, so I already know what we're gonna stream next or something that will come up in the next week. It's definitely a date with Dove and how we complete the game. Really excited to see how it ends or what the endings we will get. And uh, we what endings we will get. Other than that, it's nice to see you guys today. And I'll hopefully see you guys one time in the weekend at least. And then next week as well. Alright, good night everybody. Thanks for stream, Hiko. Hope you're good. I've been great. Thank you so much, Space. I'm going on a quick day trip tomorrow to uh, a neighboring country. That's why I need to sleep earlier. Otsu, otsu. Good night, goddess. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Nori. Oh, wow.
Thank you for your heart 72. Good night, Nori. Good night, Gladys. Good night, Space. Good night, Kimo. Good night, goodbye. Yes. Good night, everybody else who is uh, lurking in chat. And I'll see you over on someone's chat. Bye-bye.